Welcome back. Uh, between streams, I completed almost the entire Pokedex. Get, get up, Ogre Pond. Ogre Pond's dead. Uh, on top of that, uh, special shout outs here to uh, Torisman. Uh, let me get, let me get, oh my goodness, it, it got off the area that I was trying to. No! No! There we go. Trisman, be doof and Evil Incorporated in St Storm Starshine uh, for helping me grind out the BP I needed in order to expand the, uh, the, uh, areas. I haven't done that yet, but we're gonna go do that now. I could finish the Pokedex here by catching a bunch of starters. Uh, no, I gotta go to the, the, uh, front, front hall there. The main building. From my community. I've got, I've got 2,000 extra, uh, yeah, 2,000 extra, extra BP I could do stuff with. The League Club Room. Contribute Whip. Uh, boost biodiversity, the polar biome. There we go. Roto -to 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 -to. Hi, I'm Terry from the Terrarium Club. Thanks so much for your support. Thanks to you, Plungo. We're ready to fine tune the Terrarium's environmental settings. Yes, using the BP that you donated to us today, we've been able to upgrade the environments in the polar biodome. New Pokemon will be there alive now, including Wild Piplup. You can now encounter more species in the polar biodome. And now I do it with the rest. Uh, the canyon biome. Canyon arrow. Uh, is BB we use to upgrade the canyon biome? We have to find Litten there. Nice. Hey, let's get the rest. And the rest. Uh, Grookey. It gives you all the starters essentially, but it just gives you like an example of what's gonna be there. Savannah biome, including Charmander. Or is it all of them? I would hope it'd be all of them. Contribute to Bip. You need a smart, smart speaker. We can help you remodel your room. Art designs for remodeling the rooms. Uh, update to the lock on feature. Everybody remembers how to lock into the Pokemon ZL, right? Well, now's a new shiny update. A shiny, oh, so shiny new update. If you can get us enough BP, uh. Can't get enough of watching Pokemon, give us BP. Thank you, Plungo. This is Issa from the Photography Club. Now to patch that lock-on feature with new capabilities. I'll send the data right now. You can now see more data of the Pokemon you lock onto a ZL, which I think is like, um... Yeah, gender, size, and marks. Uh... What the heck's the touch-up feature? Lots of photos, camera- oh, I see, it's like Photoshop. Item printer, throwing styles. Give me, give me more of them throw- I, I should see if I can get as much as possible here. We're just, we're just pitching stuff back and forth to each other. <laughs> oh look, it's a silly drawing of a Whoopa! And a Suda Wudo and a Porygon Zed. Silly little whoop up. Throw like a former champion, Galarian Star Pose. Throw like a former champion, ouch, I guess he's fallen pretty far since then. After, um, after Hop went on to become a, become a professor, become a successful big time professor, Leon fell into disarray and is now in a gutter somewhere in the, somewhere in, in Winden. Any other ones? Nope. Item printer? Might as well. Beaten by Grigba Flag. Uh, yes, hi. Uh, this is the science club. Wow, this is the first time we've ever gotten a donation. L let me hurry and get deliver that item printer to you right away. Wow, I can print drug. Thanks for opting uh, in to set up one of our new item printers. I'm a member of the science clubs. So we developed this device. 
I'll be right here to help you use it if it's not too much trouble to have me in your club room. So straight to it, what is the item printer? If you put materials dropped by Pokemon to the printer along with some BP, you'll be able to get items in exchange. Tech inner workings are a little secret. We're in the midst of applying for a patent, see? But all you need to know is that it takes materials and lets you print, I print items, and it's fantastic. It's really exciting to see what might come out. It's also simple to use. With that in mind, would you like to print some items? I want to make it better. Wait, what are these percentages? Oh, I see. It's kind of, it's actually, it works a lot like the, um, uh, what is it? The Xenoblade, um, the, for, the, like the, the stro destroyed uh, Ferranus fabricators. Uh, I want to make it better. I like more data. Oh, I need to do printing jobs in order to make it better. Interesting. New designs for remodeling the room. And a smart speaker. I'd rather get the, the new designs. From Philbert! You have reached Philbert of the Art Club. We thank you for supporting our club's initiatives. Oh, I'm nauseous. I'm nauseous. Please allow me to assist you by opening up new colorful opportunities for your club room. I will expand the options available to you when you look, wish to update your club room's look. Hi, Bug. Dark and fancy rooms are now added. I'm nauseous. I'm nauseous. I'm nauseous. Thank you for supporting our club's efforts. Made him sound like Filbert from uh, Rocco's Modern Life. Oh, I need 600 for that one, hey? I do want to change my throwing style. Roto to 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 to. Ah, uh, what do I want? Left handed style, reverend style, dainty style, smug style, elegant style, twirling style, ninja style, and Galarian star style. I mean, she is a smug goth. Oh, yeah, that's smug. Ooh, that's real smug. Turn the page, wash your hands. Turn the page, wash your hands. Then you turn the page, and then you wash your hands. Oh, it's a gorgeous style, darling. I'm gonna wait until I have enough BP for that in order to grab that. I could get the smart speaker as well. I'm reaching Plugo's phone, yeah? Props for supporting the music club. Looks like you forked over enough BP, meaning we're all good to send you that speaker. So we'll share that over in two shakes, so chill like a slow king for what it takes. You got the smart speakers, and now you got the bops. Oops. Uh, oh! Gunbare! It says League Club and Brushwork. Oh, and then you buy the individual albums. Outdoor, town tunes, famous destinations. I think I'm probably gonna go with famous destinations just because what that probably is gonna entail is classic uh, Pokemon music. Oh baby, oh baby, oh baby. Rocco, Mrs. Bighead? Lorecast Nightmare VT with 100 minutes saying anytime just beat the DLC today. No spoilers, but comment has been blocked by Miyamoto-san due to spoilers. I don't think he cares. <laughs> if you bought the game, then that's all good for him. This is so much easier than, what, what is it like the, uh, you, you need like a billion watts in order to, in order to like send over to the, to that woman in, in one of the DLCs and she gives you like what? A, a special card? Famous destinations. Mystic oh no, never mind. Kitakami. Outdoor adventure. 
Oh, it's open. Oh, man. Oh, well, whatever. Whoops. Oh, I guess it's already off. All right. Ooh, yeah, Cascarafa. Sorry, but I'm just moving this away a little bit. Oh, yeah, Lavincia. Yes, now this is happening. All right, I definitely don't have enough BP for any other stuff, so. checked out the go right to the terrarium I haven't checked out a lot of these places around here so let's try let's go to classroom one four Axel with the 98 months of tier one saying hey triple digits are you enjoying the DLC so far Tom I'm enjoying it I am EB whoa it's a type chart was night outside the sky you see in the terrarium looks like night too the displays are synced on, uh, with the real time of the surface this classroom is actually underwater they display a video of the sky on the screen so it doesn't feel claustrophobic. What's up, bud? You lie down? Am I in the wrong spot, bug? Bingo! All nice and done. All right, there's nothing in the classroom for me. Let's try class three, two. Murmur with the 22 months of tier one. Thank you very much. Since it's LaVincia music, I should be using my VTuber. Ha 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 ha. In that one spot. One time I was walking in the meadows in the terrarium when a breeze blew out of nowhere. I thought I heard some singing. So weird. Interesting. Stay away! You'd be wise to stay away. I'm a danger to all who approach. Leave me be, okay? No. Wait, is it even possible? Are you, are you like me? Yes. Then you must have heard the call. Yes. I see. What has called you here? The darkness. Ah, the darkness. Yes, darkness is good. It quenches the thirst of my pit pitch black soul. You can feel it, right? The stirring of power in your hand there. My right hand. You feel it in your right hand? No, that won't do it all. Stay away. I had everything right up until that moment. No. Yes. Yes. The darkness. My left hand. Yes, your left hand! I knew you were like me! Allow me to teach you, my kindred spirit, the side of twilight. Learn the be still my left hand me emote from the boy. That is, is that exactly what I think it is? Ugh! My sword hand! I have yet to go to the school store yet. The very mightiest. All Pokemon trainers dream of might. We're drawn to whatever's mightiest. I'd love to see a Pokemon with the mightiest mark someday. Can you show me one? Where am I Mewtwo? Wait, that Pokemon! It's Mewtwo the Unrivaled! It must be the mightiest of all! Wow, that's amazing! I'm jealous, but also inspired! Let me teach you a pose that's all the rage in Galarus, thanks! Learn the Charizard pose, e pose emote from the student. Metal alloy. Which Pokemon can I use a hunk of metal alloy on? It's gotta be a metallic one. Ah! Welcome! All our goods are bought with BP. Which means we got scale shot, dual wing beat, flip turn, icicle spear, terra blast, thunder. A lot of TMs. A lot of good TMs too. Good lord. Damn! If you don't want to make them, you can buy them. Is it every single one? Metal alloy. 
Gee, I wonder who could use this one. Doobie's Disc Mesmerizer, Electrizer, Protector, Upgrade, Dragon Scale, Rare Candy, you can buy Rare Candies, uh, EXP Candies, and uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff you can buy there. I'm good, thanks. I do love points points. All right. Bingo! I have trouble no learning where my next class is. It's called Cafeteria. 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 No elephants with the 41 months of tier one thing. 41 months? Hope you're enjoying your life as a transfer student. Good luck with the continuing double battle marathon. I already did have that because I was a transfer student to the Naranja Academy. Every every dish here at the cafeteria is a personal favorite of Director Serrano's. None of them look very balanced, nutritionally speaking, but the meal powers are unbelievable. Welcome. Hey, hey! No, stop sleeping above the fridge! You're gonna get culture in the in the dairy! I don't wanna eat spoiled yogurt! Uh, my dorm. Let's see if Carmine's in. Carmine! Nope, but it's really weird that I can just go into a room whenever I want. Alright, back to the terrarium. Oh, I actually need to get more BP so I can participate in the league challenge, I just realized. Oh, it was, uh, it was Solosis on the fridge. Whoa, what? I don't remember this walkway the first time I came down here. Pretty neat, though. I need to start looking for starter Pokemon and doing this. Make myself a TM, catch a bug-type Pokemon, take a picture of a wild Pokemon swimming. Charmander! Psychic Lemons with the Lemons Zero saying, hey Tom, I had lots of fun last night helped with the raids, so I figured why not resub to my favorite streamer? Thank you. There was a recent tier list of Smash characters who ate pizza, and the maker went through so much trouble to figure out which Pokemon could, but now this video pretty much, uh, this DLC pretty much invalidates that effort. Good lord. Uh, let's try Horn Leech. I think I killed- I killed it. It's- it's dead. How do you get started Pokemon anyway? Uh, for each, uh, for each, uh, biome in the terrarium, you need to catch, um, or you need- you need, uh, 3,000 BP for each, uh, biome in the terrarium, and then you get upgraded at the league- at the, uh, the league club- club room on the computer. I didn't mean to kill the Charmander. Also, my Pokemon are much higher level now because of like I've been because of how I've been farming for BP. I would walk 500 yards, and I would walk 500 yards just to be the man who walked a thousand yards to fall down at your door. Da 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 Yarada! Oh my god! What's the matter, bug? Bingo! No, stop staring at me. Ah! DV Nation, they were the Prime Gaming sub. Much appreciated. Much gusto. Oh my god, the smug throw works when you're- oh! Charmander! Was caught off guard and couldn't move. Da, 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 da. 
That Tauros tried to kill me, dude. Alright, Horn Leech is definitely gonna kill because I'm 25 levels above this thing. Not really much I can do without, like, you know, killing here. Hey, they give me the bits. I think I just gotta chuck balls at it until I get it. Dusk Ball! Hey, I got critical capture on that one! Charmander just has a heart of darkness, it would seem. All right. That's one starter. What am I looking for here? Make myself a TM. Take a picture of a, a Pokemon that's. You gotta stop! <laughs> na, 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 na. Oh my god, I ran into it again! Hello, sir, you are bullshit. Bingo! Thank you, Mike. Thank you for the 20 months of tier one. I appreciate it. Tauros says... The Tauros says no. So... Are there... Oh, man. So I can find the other ones around here, right? The other, um... The other starter Pokemon? Like, or, or is it just one per bio? I wouldn't think that'd be the case, but... I'm gonna catch another Bug-type Pokemon. There's Vibrava! It's a Bug Pokemon! Or Trapinch! It's an Antlion! Therefore, it's a Bug Pokemon! Uh, there's a Deer. Bingo! Uh, Pirate Man with 20 months, 23 months of tier 1 saying, Evening, Tom and chat. How's the DLC been so far? I've been enjoying it greatly. What are you? You're Sand Dial. Wait, did I run past the Torchic? What's the matter, Bug? Are you being a little stinky baby? <laughs> Game Freak, the company that refuses to give us a Bug Dragon type. Even though we have a dragonfly and a dragon that looks like a dragonfly and is not actually a dragonfly. The hell is that? Oh, it's a trap pinch. Let me run back this way. Does it just unlock one starter per area? There's another Charmander. No. So what am I doing wrong? Wants me to catch another bug type. Hang on, I'm going to go check on dog. Come here. Come here, baby. Come here. Hi. Come here, bud. Bops a daisy. This could very well be the rest of the stream. I'm gonna sound a little bit far away. But that's fine, because dog. Uh, alright, I can, ch I, can uh, I can start challenging stuff now. I gotta figure out what the rest of these starters are. Cause it's like, it's every starter, right? Ooh, upper hand. Ooh, careful, bud. Hi, right, bud. What are you doing? Is that a Pokemon? Yes. 
Okay. I'm gonna take a photo of a wild Pokemon in the savanna biome. With my eyes closed. Hi, bud. I've been considering getting him, like, a, like a table or something that he could, like, um... Lie down on that's, like, right next to me. This is all he can do right now, though, for the time being. Hi, bud. Kind of leaning into me here a little bit. All right, uh, let's head over to the Savannah Plaza. He needs a baby harness. I want to make it like a little platform. You know, before I do that, I'm going to go into Char the Charge Stone Cavern because apparently you could find what you need to evolve Duraludon in there. I feel like that's more worth my time at the moment. Hi. <laughs> oh, buddy. You feeling okay? Do you feel validated? You're keeping an eye on the door to make sure we're safe. Now is it? Is the item just like well I know what the item is, but is it is it just like is it just like sitting around or or like a I guess that's a bad question to ask. Not is it sitting around, but rather is it um What am I trying to say here? Is it just like a random item chance or is there like a like one like permanent one you can find somewhere? It's an item ball, okay. The Jolted Guards, Zinc. Come back, Zinc! Got it! Oh, big yawn, buddy. The Metal Alloy. I'm gonna get myself a staple or a remover. You know, I didn't come up with a name for him yet. Archalodon. Cause I was gonna just name him after a hotel like I did with uh, with Marriott in uh, Gen 8. Gather static electricity from the surrounding, its beams launches uh, down on all fours with tremendous power. He's leaning on my shoulder. Electro shot. Uh, 130 power. It's basically that um, what is it? It's basically that um, I'm trying to think of what move it is. I'm gonna get rid of hyper beam. It's meteor beam. Yeah, it's electric meteor beam. But now I think I got the perfect name for him. Check summary. There we go. Jeff. If only. Hi, bud. Yeah, he's Jeff Bridges. Alright, uh, let's go, let's go kill Crispin. You wanna get down, bud? Or are you good here? I'm gonna turn it away where you can jump down. You wish to jump down? No, you're good here, huh? Hi. My, my, what a cuddly little baby you are today. Sam Porter would also be a good one. Pretty much anybody with last name of Bridges would be good. Hello, baby. Just, like, let me know whenever you want to get down, bud. I'm gonna put Jeff Bridges out front. Welcome to the Savannah Plaza. We're the team that supports Crispin of the Elite Four. And you're Plungo, right? One of the BB leader, uh, League lead, uh, challengers? Me, yes. You need to hand over five, uh, 50 BP to, uh, to challenge. 
You good? Hello. You give a kiss. Very, uh, thank you very much. Duly received and noted. Yo, Crispin, an order's just coming for you. Coming right up. Oh, uh, hey, saw you in the cafeteria. You're Plungo, right? Just the person to get my energy pumping. I feel like I'm cooking at a nice uh, simmer over here. But we gotta move somewhere else for this next part. Follow me. Magmorta. I know what heat he's packing. I've been waiting for a fiery challenger like you. Taking on the Elite Four pretty much right after coming to our school? Now <laughs> that's lit. No wonder Kieran and Drayton like you. And if I'm being honest, you've kindled my curiosity too. I should warn you though, my trial is no cakewalk. My elite tr uh, trial is putting together a super spicy sandwich. I mean super spicy. I want something so hot it'll have me breathing flames. I know what you're thinking. That sounds easy, right? But you can't use your own ingredients. You have to negotiate with the league club members around here to get what you need. Once you think you have the right ingredients, come back and talk to me. And I'll judge your sandwich making skills with my own two eyes. Key to cooking eight dishes, pick up the right ingredients. The rest is easy as pie. You ready to take my Elite Four challenge, Polungo? I'm ready. All right, you ready to get down? Buddy. Are you happy up here? I'm not holding on to you. Oh, 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 and he fell. All right, you wanna come back up here? Oh, buddy, come here, come here, come here. You wanna come up here? No, he's done. You gonna lie down? You wanna come back up here? Or do you wanna lay down in your, uh, your bean bag? All right, bud. What are you doing? Just circling back and forth and every time I look at you. He probably has to go to the bathroom, which means I have to take a break. Be right back. I forgot to unpause before I hit A, but it's okay. You missed like two seconds of nothing. First thing, negotiate with the league club members to get some ingredients. You'll need to make a super spicy sandwich. That should already be a clue for what you need. Once you got all the ingredients to whip up your sandwich, give me a holler. All right then, let's get this, uh, let's start this now. Make the spiciest sandwich. Beat me for potato salad. Three ingredients if you bring the right answer. Chili sauce or ketchup? Give her one. I wonder if anyone has any lovely green cucumbers to spare. How about you? If you have a cucumber, I'll give you some, uh, give me, give me the chili sauce. You don't have any, I don't have any cucumbers. Three ingredients if you bring the right answer. Oh, you don't have any ingredients at all. Come back once you gather some ingredients. What the fuck? All right, I guess I'm just gonna beat you for potato salad. Who are you? Jalapenos. Hey, 400 bits of gold lightning. Thank you very much. We all know how are super spicy, and guess what? I've got some. And I'm also really good at battles. Like, real good. So if you want to bat, uh, some jalapeno, so I'll give you a choice. Do you want to battle me for some? Or buy it for 50 BP, BP? I'll battle you. Uh, be careful of the credits of the DLC. I think of the Ed Sheeran song. Thank you for the heads up. Like I said, I'm really strong. Head over to the battle area. You're outside the arena. You already lost the challenge. Now you'll never get my sweet, sweet jalapenos. Uh oh, a sun team. I actually, the drought didn't go off, did it? I'm gonna send it to Melissa. I'm gonna salt cure on Torkoal. Uh, it didn't take any damage yet. Oh. 
It's gotta be Stealth Rock. Again, surprised it didn't say it sent out something that normally has drought and something that normally has uh uh chlorophyll. Nice work, Puppy! Baby cudgel. Smack. Mmm, salt cured food. Just like Ma used to make. Torco! Can't be that strong if you didn't set up your sunny day team correctly. What are you gonna send in next? Pelipper that doesn't have drizzle and something with swift swim? Magma. Oh look, another chlorophyll user that probably won't be boosted by Sunny Day. Magmar. <laughs> Bonk. That vile plume just always has a smile on its face. Uh oh. Mmm, salt cured boober. Who wanted the salt cured boober? That's a whole lot of pain, yo. Oh my god, whole lot of pain, yo. See, so you're a jalapeno worthy trainer. The helping of jalapeno. Here, let me hear your Pokemon after that. Jalapenos! Marmalade and mustard broader chorizes. Trade you a jalapeno. I'm gonna find pickle. I'm missing two all ingredients. Listen, I'll give you super spicy jalapeno if you find me, uh, if you front me some prosciutto and olive oil. There you go. Uh, sorry, friend, that's not prosciutto or olive oil. Alright. Alright. Let me, let me at least get the potato salad from you. Potato salad. Uh, here, okay, I shout with the seven, 82 months of tier one saying meow, or also the frame drops very else is just me. I've dropped zero frames. Great work. We spent three days working on that potato potato salad. Three days. I'm gonna send in Emmett. Oh, it is an earthquake team. Uh oh. Emmett! Jeff! Uh. Even J. Brian will never saying, Show me a potato salad! This camera up's going to die. If that wasn't a one-hit KO, me being like 10 levels above it, with it being quad weak to water, I probably would have shitted and cried. Who's coming out but M -M Melissa? Ding, ding, dong. Ding, dong. Hey. 
Uh, yes, I can hear the voice of the potato salad speaking to me now. Get help? Potato salad, it says it wants to go with you. I'm going to give this away as soon as I can. Something so restor restorative about carrying potato salad around, don't you think? Broader horizons. Man, I really want some eggs. I really, really want some eggs. If you got any eggs, I'll trade your, uh, really broaden your chorizas. I don't got any egg. Mustard or marmalade? I think about too much marmalade, and I don't really need all this mustard either. Do you like to trade, uh, your vinegar for my marmalade or mustard? I don't have vinegar. I have potato salad. Uh... See if you can answer a trivia question. If you do, I'll give you three ingredients. What do you go when you mix oil, eggs, and vinegar? Uh, tell me if you've got it. It's mayonnaise. Mayonnaise! Hey, bud. What's the matter? I'm not getting up. You want may mayonnaise? I'll share something with you if you can beat me. Oh, it's mayon now. Oh, buddy. No, 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 no. Stop, stop touching your face, bud. Oh, she's nervous. Pyro. Pyro. <laughs> Defeat the male one. It's a liability. Pocket potato salad. I'm just getting... Burned up here. When that guy said he was really strong, did he just mean he had two more Pokemon than everyone else? <sighs> it is a late stream. Makes sense that they're gonna that they're yawning. Jeff Bridges! Vinegar is my secret ingredient. I use it in all of my recipes. I may have underestimated you. I hate everybody here. Here's some mayonnaise, like I promised. It's really good, so spread the word. Let me help your Pokemon. Three ingredients if you give me something. Man, I got a hankering for some of that potato stuff they eat cold, you know? Hand over three ingredients for just a bit. You got any of that potato stuff? Potato salad. This is it. You wouldn't believe how much I've been craving potato salad. Onion, cucumber, and prescuto. Yeah, eggs, oil, and vinegar, you get mayonnaise! Uh, and I got the individual, uh, ingredients to make mayonnaise. Do I have a cucumber? Give me the chili sauce. Broader horizons. Man, I really want some eggs. Got any eggs? Trade you for some chorizo. Tasty sausage! Not too much marmalade. I don't think I need all this mustard. Are you really trade your vinegar for my mustard? Mustard, please. And a fine pickle. I'll give you super spicy jalapeno if you got some prosciutto and olive oil. Two, three, four, and then I got f three spicy. Is this all I need or do I need more? I seem to have run out of people to talk to. I think I got everything I need.
Ready to get cooking? Got everything you need? Want to start making a super spicy sandwich? I want to start. I can tell you're cooking on high heat. Looking forward to some ex something extra spicy then. Lettuce and tomato, ham and avocado. I don't want. Wait, I still have the mayonnaise. I think I just need the chili sauce and uh, and uh, and mustard. The mayonnaise isn't gonna help. I like eating sandwiches. You like eating sandwiches. We like eating sandwiches. Let's make some. Need some more jalapeno. But I spent over 20 grand on you. Honey, I'm with the government. I never said I was a good person. Tasty sausage! He's eating it with all of his mag mortar. <laughs> yeah! He has special dialogue if you don't put the top piece of, piece of bread on. Interesting. What does he say? Ooh! This isn't spicy anymore. It's just pain. I'm burning up all the way inside. Even the spiciest souls would love that super spicy sandwich. You know what? I think I can already give you my verdict. You pass! That was absolutely perfect! Your sandwich brought the heat like nothing else! Ha! 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 Ah, get the milk! Ah, oh, get the fucking milk! I'm gonna try to tingle on my tongue as I head back to the plaza. Oh, fuck! Ha! 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 He says if you didn't put the top piece on, he'd be like, must be a Paldean thing. Well, that wraps up the trial. So that's time for me to face the elite battle. Oh, God. Oh, shit. You all prepped to uh, take me on? Oh, I'm gonna die. Ah, uh, coming right up. Watch out, because it's cracking. Ah, I'm cracking up the heat. Fuck. Ah. So, Plugo. I think it's just a messy history between you and Kiara and huh? Oh god, sure it seems like Drain's cooking us some fishy, too. Ah. Ah. Everything's just so complicated, fuck! Can you all just get over yourselves? Ah. If you can get over yourselves, I can get over this! If you wanna say slug, just say it! If you wanna do slug, just do it! Oh god! I'm not the kind of guy who always sweat the small stuff. I sweat the big stuff. Like jalapenos and, and spicy sandwiches. Shit! I battled because I want to battle. And you know what? That's how it should be. I'm Craig Smith of the Elite Four. And. Oh, God! And this here is the Savannah biome. Ah, I want to win, so that's exactly what I'll do. Oh, oh God. Ah! Oh, my God. I'm going to die. Go, Rotom and, uh, Bird. I forgot what the bird was called. Now oh, it's time to get cooking. Oh, no, wait, no. Time to start battling. Oh, God, please give me the milk. Please, for the love of God, give me the milk. Sunny day. Chasing the clouds away. Sanda morto. Oh, 
I'm not dead. Damn it. I don't think the salt's gonna help the spice there, buddy. Ah! Oh my god! You're looking at Dazzler Flames and keep using moves, moves like that! Oh, please, that's the flame in my mouth, for God's sake! Ah! Hey, what happened? Where all the damage? Damage come from- Oh, God! Oh, shit! Ah! Oh, what a focus sash! He knew. But he didn't know he was gonna have salt cured bird! Yeah, experience! An executor- Oh, set out executor! Executor! Interesting. Let's Dragon Pulse the Executor. And I am going to switch actually to Melissa. Mold Breaker! Not the will of the wisp! I have gr uh, grinded BP, yeah. Got a group of four people together and we uh, we grinded up so I have uh, all the uh, the full power. The full power, the full power of the- uh oh! Who are you aiming at? Looks like you're aiming over at my ogre palm. Hey, Jeff! Jeff, 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 Jeff. Oh, wait a minute, I can just Ivy Cudgel the Executor. You son of a bitch! Jeff Bridges! Hear the music? Overheat! It is tricky to rock a rhyme that's right on time! It's tricky. Gonna predict the switch. And I'm gonna Ivy Cudgel the Executor. Jeff Party. My name is Jeff, Jeff Bridges. Bonk. There is an incredibly severe missed opportunity with this character. Where where is where is the where's that pepper Pokemon? Yikes, dude! I'm going to Horn Leech. The, I don't think the Rotom is much of a threat anymore because of its lowered special attack. I know he's not Paldean, but he should totally... This dude d definitely needs a Scovillain. If there's a rematch with... If there's a rematch with him, and uh, he should definitely have a Scovillain. Like, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. What the heck? What the Earth power? The sunlight. Tis faded. Do that on Rotom, and we'll horn leech the camera up. Yeah. Oh, well, it's still gonna kill you. If it doesn't kill you, it'll thrill you. Ooh, it had a Rocky Helm. Uh, I'll send. I got two burn Pokemon. I'll send an Owo. 
I should not send in my bug type Pokemon. That would suck. Hey, it's that thing what he was eating the sandwich with. Hey, it's one of the first starter Pokemon we've seen another trainer use. I don't have a good Pokemon for this, so. Actually, you know what? Blaziken's the, definitely the bigger threat. I'm gonna go all in on attacking that Blaziken. Time to throw ice slice really turn the Go on, Blaziken! Ah! Oh, fuck! Burn right red! Fuck! Oh, Lacey and Primarina, you're right. You know what? I'm glad I used Throat Chop now. That- ooh, that's strong. Oh, whatever is gonna happen next is gonna be stronger! Oh, that's bad! Oh, whoa, yes! Body Slayer. No! No! It's definitely, it's, I mean, like, oh, whoa, is dead. Let's just leave it at that. Hope you're hungry, because Christmas Wave and I specials come right at I Come right at you. Temper Flare, that's a new move. Oh, he didn't want me to be sad! Oh, whoa, is definitely dead, though. Let's be real. Ooh, heat wave. Unfortunately for you, my last couple of Pokemon are, my last few Pokemon are incredibly fast. So even with the issues, I should be able to stand quite tall here. For example, a nice stab throat chop and a nice stab iron ivy cudgel. You got beaten by a bug type. Ah! 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 I wanted to win, but I lost! Ah! 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 Oh shit! Ah! Ooh, that was that was really good. You cranked the heat all the way up, Plugo! Fuck! I love battles of cooking because they're so both easy to understand. Battles got their way to lose. The cooking dishes are spicier than spice. Spice. Why'd you put in that sandwich? Fuck! Simple, right? Right now, the mood of the league comes, I don't know. It's off! It's, it's very frustrating. I wish I. I wish I'd go back to how being the fun club we were before. But hey! They need to douse the flames there! You're really strong, Plugo! Let me see if I can transfer the burning here from a battle with my frying pan. Oh, if you have something great! You get something good! Ah! Oh, get ya! Ha! Ah. Oh god, where the fuck is that milk?! I'll also give you one of my favorite moves to serve a battle! Temper Flare! If it's my personality, well, it's great! Oh! Overall, I give that- I give that game five hot peppers out of five! Oh god! Oh, I got no clue how to manage the temperature of making my side while I'm cooking. Uh, so all I can say is crack the heat, but heat all you want in the BB League, Plungo. Oh, God, where's the milk? Where's the milk? <coughs> yo, 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 champ in making. That's three of the Elite Four you trounced now. Seeing, you've, uh, you're, uh, seeing how far you're getting is making me sweat a little. Crisp is no pushover, he's just super straightforward. I think that's kind of part of his charm, you know? We used to all chow down on Crisp's cooking after club activities let out. Those are the days. I guess he's been worrying about the, all, uh, about the way things are too, in his own way. 
You know, bud, seeing skills like yours up close and personal really leaves an impression. Ah, that really was a spicy battle. Excuse me. No wonder it had no such an effect on Kieran. But enough about that. Guess your elite fourth, uh, your elite fourth match is gonna be against Amaris. She's cold as steel. You need something burning. To, uh, you need some burn hot flames to melt her. See you soon. Show us what you got. That is on. Yeah, it's 100% odd. Della Robia from uh, from Code Lyoko. Do you think he has a dog? <clears throat> Here we are going far to save all that we love. If we give what we got, we will make it through. Here we are like a star shining bright on the world today. And make evil go away. The lighting makes this look shiny, kind of. Welcome to the Canyon Plaza. We're the team that supports Amorous of the Elite Four. And you're Plungo, right? One of the BB League challengers? <clears throat> you need to hand over 50 BP if you want to enter the, take on the Elite Trial here. Are you ready and willing to pay? Actually, I want to make sure I'm healed up before I start this. There it is. Such a weird shaped area. This woman, this woman I believe, no wait. Oh yeah, and what am I saying? Drayton had a septile. So we've seen a grass, we've seen a water, and we've seen a fire. What would make sense for her to have, at least ju just by the types alone, is that she would have an Empoleon. We're doing steel then. I'm thinking Melissa. Uh, yeah, change position with Morton. Actually, Melissa uh, Morton's weak to it though. Uh, Grigba Flag. Grigba Flag hasn't hasn't had much action lately. Yes, I would like to pay. Yes, it is a good goodbye. Thank you very much. Duly received and noted. Now here she comes, our very own Amaroos! Plungo, yes? As you see, I am present and ready for your trial. A change of location is required. Come. Her hair looks like tri- uh, looks like tri-screws. The decision to allow you to take on the league was irregular, an exception among exceptions. I, for one, am a stickler for the rules, which is why I brought you out here to take you out so that the rules may never be broken again. I must set an example. I was against it, you know, but the Academy allowed it, and their ruling is absolute. Therefore, I will carry out my duty as a member of the Elite Four as flawlessly as I always do. The elite trial I devised starts right here. I call my challenge the Flying Time Trial. You will need to fly around the skies of the terrarium while riding a Pokemon. Reach the goal within the pres prescribed time and you will pass the trial. Fly through Magnemite Rings and extra time will be added to the countdown. <clears throat> I recommend you go through as many rings as possible as you fly toward the goal. Can you verify that you are ready and willing to take up my Flying Time Trial? Understood. I assume you have a Pokemon to ride on. Please bring it out of its ball. <coughs> Redmaster, think of the under five months dear one saying, shout out to all the retail workers. The holidays wouldn't be as great without all of you and deserve far better than how you're being treated. Sorry for using the resub like this, Tom. It's all good. Child of Ham, what are we doing? Ah, good. With some effort, this Pokemon should be capable of flight. Your name is Agios, right? This is for you to eat. <laughs> Agas! Child of Ham! I feel ready to fly! Child of Ham, stick close to this one. They are good. 
What your Agias has just consumed is a supplement that enhances a Pokemon's flight capabilities. I prepared it using leaves from a mysterious plant I found growing in the terrarium. Your Agias will be able to soar through the skies as it pleases, but only for the duration of the trial. <coughs> Try to reach the goal within the time limit by flying on Karadon's back. Passing through Magnemite rings will grant you extended time. Left stick up to fly up. Oh, it's not in. Oh, it's not inverted. I'm going to screw this up. I can only fly with inverted controls. Take on the flying time trial. We're gonna have a champion time. <clears throat> to be fair, Agios would be a good name for uh, for Karidon. Whoa! Whoa! No! Okay, 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 easy. <clears throat> oh, go up! Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up! Where am I going? Child of Ham, I can fly. That's like the polar opposite of the fire one that took forever. <coughs> that was an impressive display of punctuality. I must admit it was satisfying to watch you fly. Congratulations, you have cleared my elite trial. Now a change of locations is required once again. Come. Bingo! Feral play style, think of the tier one sub. Or Feral. You've earned the right to face me in battle. Do you wish to begin? Yes. Uh. Understood. Let's assume our battle positions. Under Mr. Evil J. Bryan saying, Agias, do a barrel roll. I mean, do a barrel, roll a barrel. I mean, do a barrel roll. <gasps> <clears throat> I think I may have uh, damaged something because it's kind of hard for me to breathe in. There is one thing I wanted to ask you. It concerns Kieran. What is he to you, Plungo? He's my rival. So you consider him a worthy adversary. I see. <clears throat> That's better. For my part, Kieran is my is the younger brother of my dear friend Carmine. Something in him has changed. He is not his usual self. I find this deeply concerning. If possible, I want to be the one to help him. That being the case, I cannot afford to lose. Will you look at that? It's death time. Our battle starts now. <clears throat> Hmm. Challenge by Amorous of the BB Elite Four. Up against Skarmory and Hansen. Get ready, Skarmory. You too, Doug Trio. We're finishing this battle right on schedule. Bingo! You mean where you lose? Itamu, think of the nine months of tier one. I appreciate it. Axe kick that, Ivy cudgel that. Ooh, that's a fast boy. Damn. Should have doubled up on Skarm. 
An unfavorable type matchup. <gasps> you caught me off guard, and now my goggle uh, my glasses have fogged up. So focus ash. <clears throat> yep. What's Scarm gonna do? Stealth Rock! Not good! Probably gonna try and use Stone Edge again. Uh, throat Chop the Doug Trio, Ivy Cudgel the Scarm. I was hoping that'd miss. <clears throat> At least I was able to get rid of the Scarm already, though. I'm gonna send in Emmett. <clears throat> Honestly, I should send in Emmett from the beginning. Ooh, only weak to fire, but very easy to take down. Flip turn on Doug Trio, Ivy Cudgel on Scizor. Oh, now it misses. Using an Oka Berry. Not enough to keep you alive, it would seem. Doesn't matter if his speed falls, he's going back anyway. Uh, I'll, it, it, Morton is weak to steel, but I'll send him in anyway. <coughs> Actually, I can see what I can do about salt, salt curing everything. <coughs> there is the Empoleon. Salt cure the Empoleon, uh, throat chop the Reuniclus. I forgot how bulky Reuniclus was. Bingo! Spirit of Water Montara, thank you for 40 months of tier one saying bingo! I figured Morton was gonna die, but I'm getting some real good damage off of that Empoleon, so I can just focus down on uh, Reuniclus for the rest of this. Oh, that ain't good! <clears throat> Wasn't expecting a Trick Room Setter. It'd be really funny if because it was water and steel, it uh, it lo reduced it by half instead. I'm sending an Emmet. Zero to hero! the Empoleon gone. I'll close combat the Empoleon and I'll... Let me see. Hunter power, it being stabbed, plus a 20% increase in damage is more effective than throat chop being super effective. I'm learning. You bitch! I was gonna say, there's no way it's going for anyone but Melissa. Ha ha! His eye! Such! Arrowism! <clears throat> Still got four turns left of, uh... Uh, 
There's Metagross, and that's also the one that's going to, um... Terra as well. I'm gonna take a risk here. I'm gonna go close combat, and I'm gonna go Ivy Cudgel. <clears throat> Time is short. Let's wrap this up. Come on, damn. <clears throat> Zen headbutt miss it? Oh, no, it doesn't miss. Do not flinch, I swear to God. In a pinch? Thank goodness. That ain't good. <clears throat> Time to jet punch a, a, a UFO. Actually, oh, well, it would be perfect. I don't know if it's slower than uh, than Reuniclus, but it'd be helpful. Jet Punch Metagross, and let's go ahead and Body Slam Reuniclus. You bitch! Okay, if that didn't kill it, I would have been so mad. We got one more turn left the trick room. It's almost back to full health. All you have is your trick room setter, ma'am. Jato punch. Wow, I am slower than Reuniclus. Not anymore. Oh wait. The dimensions return to normal. I don't think I was expecting to be paralyzed this turn. Hanji. <clears throat> no! I am not enough, I see. I think it uh, reset Trick Room because the Dunsparce was slower than it. The strength of one's Pokemon reflects the strength of one's beliefs. Your desire to help Kieran is evidently greater than my own. No, you care plenty. Plungo, you truly are a kind person. Alright then. Time for a photo. We must ensure that your victory here is properly commemorated. Aw, that's cute. I will give you this TM too. It contains a favorite move of mine. Hard press. The target is crushed with an arm, a claw, or, or the like to inflict damage. The more HP the user has left, it's a uh, steel type ring out. It's up to you to help Kieran Plungo. I, tr I entrust my wish to you. <clears throat> Time for me to go. So long. Basically, st yeah, Steel type Crush Grip as well. Ring on Crush Grip are the same move. Yo, 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 champ in making. Guess you're almost a champ in the maid. That's the BB League uh, Elite Four all uh, beaten. You've schooled every elite one of us. <clears throat> Amra sure leaves an impression, huh? It's wild seeing her and Carmine talk. You never guess it, but they click in a weird way. It's pretty funny to watch. Thing about Amaris is, as rigid as she looks, she's got a sensitive streak a uh, mile wide. Remember that that about her, okay? Even if it's hard to tell from outside. Man, I, it's like I blinked and you plowed through the whole BB League. 
You know what's next for you, right, bud? You're good enough uh, to beat all of us Elite Four. So you and only you have the right to challenge the sitting BB League champion, Kieran. You really kept me waiting. Took you a while to beat the Elite Four. Kind of slow for you, isn't it? Nice, Kieran. You really got Plungo on the brain, huh? I can say the same thing about you, Drayton. You sure put a lot of effort into helping Plungo here. Who wouldn't help out a new student? Gotta be good for, to our fellow humans. That's rich coming from you. Whatever you're planning, it's about time. It's about to come to an end. Plungo. Let's settle who's the strongest between us two once and for all. It's finally time. I'm pumped for you. We'll have to go sign you up at the front desk to get your championship match going. No sense waiting around. Let's go. It's like a two-toned Yu-Gi-Oh kid. <clears throat> okay, in order what I want to do. Uh, how do I leave? There we go. I thought there was a cryogonal for a second. Uh, in order what I'd like to do is <clears throat> beat uh, beat Kieran. Um, get 200 Pokemon in, in the, uh, in the, the, uh, Blueberry Academy Pokedex. Uh, do, uh, and then figure out what the photographer lady wants and then finish, finish off the DLC. Oh, you can do another flying time trial there. Uh, front desk, front desk. <clears throat> What do I got? Uh, this should be a fine team. Hey, yo, Plungo! Ready to sign up for your official match? You're Plungo, yes? Let me get your championship match set up. This will just take a moment. So, Plungo, you said you and Kieran are friends, right? Yeah. Huh, no kidding. Here's the Dracer's take. I like Kieran better when his hair was down. He used to be this quiet little guy, trembled like a leaf, had all the spine of, spine of a wimp pod. He'd hide behind Carmine if you so much as breathed too loud. But I tell you what, when it came to Pokemon battling, I never saw so much joy in anyone's eyes as his. Then out of nowhere, he changed. Now he's relentless, pushes himself, pushes everyone around him. Nothing good's gonna come of this. Someone's gotta snap him out of it. I tried to, but couldn't do it. I guess I've gone soft from a lazy life. So I guess it falls to you. Sorry, bud. Sorry to keep you waiting. Everything's ready. Are you ready to battle Kieran, the BB League champion? Yes. Understood. Your championship match will begin soon. Please make sure you are ready. Well, it's all up to you now, Plungo. Me and the other Elite Three will be cheering you, uh, cheering for you. So, A body has been discovered! This is an official BB League announcement. A championship match is about to begin at the battle court near the entrance to the academy! If you would like to watch the match, please make your way there. He's got that crazed look in his eye. Be even more crazed once I send out, uh, once I send out Ogre Pawn. Kept me waiting. Worked so hard for the chance to show you what I can really do, Plungo. I put everything into studying and making my Pokemon stronger. I crushed the Elite Four and became champion. All that hard work. All of it. All of it so I could so that I could beat you right here, right now. Oh. Ah! 
Challenged by BB League Champion Kieran. Dragonite and Politoed. I know I'm making the right choice. You'll understand that soon enough. You've got some nerve. Bring out the ogre now of all times! Uh, I'm gonna switch into Owo for Ice Spinner. I'm gonna Horn Leech the Politoed. You know, the, the smug Pokeball throw really probably doesn't help his mental state. Yeah, wowzers. It doesn't matter if tight matchups work out for you, though. I'll still win! Where's our board? Oh, and a crit, too. How'd you like that? See a hard up trade? Not like the kid if you battling Kitakami, huh? I held out, held out so I wouldn't feel sad. But I am confused. Great. I just really hope he snap out of it. Ice spinner on the Dragonite. Oh, damn! Oh, he held out again! <laughs> please, please, please! Yes! No! All of that! It held on twice and then killed itself! Oh man, all right. Going to Dragonite and then... Oh, I don't wanna, I, no, I do not wanna Terra. Let's leech life into the Politoed. And Grigma Fleck is, is one and done. But, so is Dragonite. I'm gonna go into Emmet. If there's still rain up, then uh, this should be useful. I can get a quick, uh, quick and dirty flip turn off. Ooh, very quick and dirty because Porygon Z is probably gonna kill me with, uh, with an electric type move. Incineroar! Intimidate Incineroar? Yep. All right, uh, I'm gonna go into the coil to get my attack up and boost some defense as well. Meanwhile, let's do the flip turn on... Uh... I'm thinking the Incineroar, just for the, just for the boosted, no! Okay, thank goodness. No! That's a lot faster than I thought it would be. And on the bright side, I get a free turn because of Hyper Beam. Don't tell me it had a fo- it definitely is a focus, Sash. Even Lux chosen you over me. It's not fair. It's just not fair! Oh, it wasn't a, uh, it wasn't a focus sash. Alrighty. Saturday night, I got no date, a two liter bottle of Shasta and my All Rush mixtape. Let's rock.
All right, Jet Punch the Incineroar. Body Press the Porygon Z. Jet the Punch! The rain stopped. Just go down already! How are you still standing after I've thrown everything I have at you? Grimstarl? And... Hydrapple! Oh, that's awesome! I really wish I had a nice type move. Acrobatics will work all the same, though. We gotta get rid of that Hydra Apple. Oh, it might tear it into Dragon, though. I wanna get rid of it as soon as possible. I'm not gonna tear it yet, though. Uh Oh, did you see how did you see the the other heads that came out of the apple? How many deal me anymore? I've changed. I'll show you I can change again. Dragon or grass? Fighting. I used acrobatics. Curse you and your pranksterisms. Be enough to take it down next time around, but I think Organicals. Wow, actually. I missed that one up, but still, maybe flinch? Capable of winning too, you know. Victory will be mine and mine alone! Ficklebee. Man, I didn't even need to use Jeff Bridges. Hydrapple's really cool. Spirit Break, which I think lowers attack? Special attack. Well, I don't have to worry about that. Uh... No, you know what? I'm gonna flip turn. I want I want all my Pokemon to be used for this. If this doesn't kill Grimmsnarl right out, then uh, then I'm gonna go into Jeff Bridges. Yeah, it's definitely not gonna kill him. Then I'll tear out Jeff Bridges. Dude, Hydrapple is awesome. All right, 20 questions on uh, on the Hydrapple evolution. Just want yes or no, I don't want specifics. Is it a... First, let me go ahead and Terra here. I wanna get my uh, show in here. Is it an item evolution? No. Is it is it uh is it level up with a with a caveat? Yes. Is it level up with multiple Applins or Diplins in your party? What? Huh? No. <gasps> what? He actually lost? Let's go, guys. <gasps> no, why? This wasn't supposed to happen? Uh, no! No, 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 no!
Wait, go. Wait, wait, go bother you. Ah, oh, that was awesome. Oh, honestly, Crispin, read the room, would you? Oh, wait, Drayton. Good match, you two. Too bad about the outcome, though, huh? X champion. Look at you, buddy. Way to go. Guess we got a new BB League champion. Academy's got a prize for people like you who can make it all the way to being champion. Here, all yours. Hey, a Master Ball. Hey, Kieran. This may not mean much coming from a guy who couldn't beat you, but I wish you'd go back to having fun with all this. I get that burning desire to win. I mean, who doesn't like winning? Just don't let the desire burn you to a crisp. It's hard to watch. Come on, let's all go and win next time. Come again? I won't lose. Next time for sure I'll win. Next time, I'll win! Plungo, I... Oh. Ooh. Ahem, if we might interrupt? Well, first, of course, we want to offer Plungo congratulations for becoming champion. It's really an amazing uh, achievement, something that should be celebrated. Well, with the way things are now, I'm sorry to say that it does, well, complicate matters. We're having a bit of a hard time knowing how we ought to proceed. Proceed with what? Well, think about it a moment, would you? If Plungo is our champion, that means she's the head of the league club. But she's an exchange student. What is our long-term plan here if she doesn't stick around? There are so many particulars to sort out. Oh, huh, yeah. And of course, if Kieran rejoins the Elite Four after having lost the rank of champion, that would push Crispin out of our ranks. Hey, what? Me? Huh? All that's bad is, isn't it? Oh, I couldn't find any milk! I'd like to hear from Kieran himself on what he would like to do next. Kieran. This is an announcement for the following students. BB League Champion Kieran, Top Elite Four member Drayton, Carmine of Class 3-2, Plungo, our exchange student. Miss Briar and some guests would like to see you. Please proceed to Classroom 1-4 as soon as possible. That is all. What could that be about? Now's, now's really not the time. BB League Champion Kieran, huh? They're gonna need to update that. Drayton, could you not, seriously not right now? It's just not right and certainly not kind. Well, we shouldn't leave Miss Briar hanging or we'll never hear the end of it. Go ahead, Plungo, we'll meet you there. I'll make sure Kieran comes too, even if I gotta carry him. Oh man. All right. The agenda. It's not location based. Uh. Does it require leveling up with an item in tow? The the hydrapple evolution. No. Is it? Leveling up having battled a certain Pokemon. Interesting. All right, next thing I said I was gonna do was catch, uh, try to get the 200 in the Pokedex for the other thing. So let's head to the coastal. Hmm. And it's not just level up, right? It's level up with a caveat. Yes. Oh, I should have healed first. Whatever. 
I'm here already. Uh, level up with a certain Pokemon in my party. No. I feel like I'm running out of stuff. <gasps> Babashar! I should have everything. Interesting turn of phrase. Other things kind of like modify stuff here. Does that have to do with time of day? Mmm! Mmm! Uh. Is it that I have to level up Diplin during a certain weather? No. Level up Diplin in cer certain terrain? Use a specific, uh, specific move multiple times and then level up? Not terrain, not weather. Not a location. Does the modifier have to be in a battle? Like, does does something have to happen within the battle in order for the evolution to happen? Y'all are you guys already said it's not location based. What was the clue that I was warmest for? Was it the weather or the terrain? Matt Bragg! Thank you for the raid! The birds attack. Mainly right now I want to hint as to where the starter Pokemon are, but still. Warmest was using a move a certain amount of times. Was it use a move once? Thank you for the raid, let's get them countermeasures while I pontificate on, uh... What, um... Uh, how to evolve, uh, how to, how to get an evolution to happen. What have you done?! Also, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm also open to, uh, to, uh, suggestions as to where to go to catch the starter Pokemon, because that's what I'm looking for now to complete my Pokedex. Or not complete, but at least get the 200 entries required. What have you done? Thank you for the raid, Matt. What was Matt playing? Was it this? This. How far did he get? Oh, he just beat it. Okay. I'm trying to get 200 Pokemon in my, uh, in my Blueberry Academy Pokedex, uh, to do the quest for the photography lady. As well, Poplio! I've done the 3K Donos, yes. And I'm also trying to figure out how to evolve uh, Diplin into Hydrapple on my own. I don't want like the the direct answer. What I like to do is, uh, damn it, oh, so close. What I like to do is kind of like play a little bit of like a 20 questions game with it. Uh, do I have any netballs left? Yes, I do. So I'm, all, I'm looking for is yes or no answers. Does the evolution have to do with using a specific move? 
I need to bring, like, some lower level Pokemon or something. <clears throat> Is it that I have to have a- it, does it have to have a move used on it? Does it have to do with a move at all? Interesting. Is it a move that... You have to shove multiple snakes into a candy apple, it's pretty obvious. Is it a move that Diplin has to use? No. Bingo! Is it a move that Diplin has to... Does Diplin have to learn a specific move and level up? Okay. And does it learn that move through level up, or do I have to get- or do, or do I have to teach it to it through, like, TM? Man, they went back to Gen 4 with that one. What have I found in Coastal so far? I found Bulbasaur and I found Poplio. What else is in Coastal? Is Litten in Coastal? It's through TM, okay. No, what's, what all is in Coastal? That's what I'm focusing right now. I'm in the Coastal region, might as well get the Coastal Pokemon. Mudkip and Froakie, I'm assuming they're closer to the water. There's Froakie! How many are in each area? There should be, let's see, eight generations of eight times three, 24. There's four regions, there should be six starters per area. Boats. Litten is in Canyon. What was it? False Swipe Gaming just did a uh, just did a spot on uh, a tier list of like the the from the best to the worst competitively viable. Oh, for goodness sake! Best to the worst competitively viable starter Pokemon in celebration of this coming out, and Meganium has been consistently the worst, at least in singles competitive. I don't remember what the top one was. Bulbasaur, I've gotten Bulbasaur, Froakie, and Poplio. I will have uh, that. Stop using Bounce! I need to find Chikorita, Mudkip, and Grookey. I don't, I don't think it was Greninja. It was Blaziken. Blaziken was the top one. Because it's had so many generations where it's been banned from OU and sent to Ubers. Where was Delphox? I think Delphox was hovering around C tier. There was only one F Pokemon, it was Meganium. Basically, the tiers were divided into how well they did in, uh, in, uh, their... Were divided by how well they did in, uh, in each, like, category. So there's one where it's, like, never competitively viable, sort of competitively viable in low tiers, very competitively viable in low tiers, Ones that have managed to break through into higher tiers, ones that were, uh, ones that were like the top of their class in high tiers, and then the ones that were banned out of, out of, uh, OU and into Ubers. Was Garchomp near the top? Garchomp isn't a starter.
All right. Chikorita, Mudkip, and Grookey. Keep an eye out. Oh, the flower is in two cannon here. Oh, what do we got? Froakie. Venus yeah, Venusaur was the best out of all the grass starters. Because of, it was, because throughout its career, it was surprisingly versatile. Especially its Mega Evolution, which, uh, um, it's Mega Evolution eliminating its fire and ice weaknesses. Eggs. Uh, False Swipe Gaming did a uh, did a tier list on uh, on how competitively viable Pokemon were in uh, in singles. I gotta start looking elsewhere, because I keep ending up back around this area, and I don't think I'm gonna find Mudkip. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna find Mudkip or, uh, oh yeah, I do need to collect Galarica Twigs at some point, because I have that shiny Slowpoke. Between, uh, between, uh, streams, I caught a shiny Slope, uh, Galarian Slowpoke. I think it ended up in Ubers, but even before it got Speed Boost, Blaziken. Because it had been, it had been relegated to Ubers twice just because of how good it was. I think Seviper was probably the highest out of the Gen 5 uh, starters. I don't remember what tier it was in. But Seviper having uh, having Contrary and Leaf Storm was really good. Sorry, su uh, Superior. Can't get over the Driftville Le Motif. Chikorita! Quickly, everyone's everyone who's subscribed to Steven spam George Chikorita! Yep, that's Chikorita, all right. <laughs> the horror. The horror. All right, I'm missing Garuki and Mudkip from this area. Oh, maybe Grookey is up high. I have no idea where Mudkip would be. That's a deerling. Grookey, I feel like, is gonna match up with, like, like just from, like, basic shape, I'm gonna think that, uh, that, uh, deerling is Grookey and vice versa. Oh, Nummel! Nummel's a good Pokemon. All these stars a one-time thing? Nope, they just spawn. Uh, they spawn as uh, regular encounters now, uh, because I donated to the um, the like what is it like the Survey Club or whatever. Seems like a good place for Mudkip to be. For the old Kippopotamus to be. I mean, is it really an invasive species if the entire area is man made?
Remember in like one Minecraft Let's Play on Achievement Hunter, Matt had a uh, a mud kit that he called Kippers. Am I looking in the right area for some of these Pokemon? I know that they don't spawn like everywhere. How does donating to a club increase the population of species? Because that club is specifically for uh, for uh, creating like good environments for Pokemon to live. I mean, where am I looking for Mudkip and Grookey specifically? I would like a hint for all of them. Like I'm, I, I like this. I don't care about for spoilers because just finding it. Like I'm just blindly running around looking for the locations of Pokemon. The hell are you? Oh, you're that weird cat thing. Ma! There's a weird cat out here! It looks like Grandma! Cave for Mudkip. And Grookey is near the cla- which, which class area? There are- oh, jeez. That weird cat is back! I don't want to go in after Meowth! No, it's okay. Go back inside, baby. Like, are they around here, the Grookey? Or are they near, like, the... other places? Son of a bitch. Give me monkey. You blink, mother! It works so well with Esper. So Grookey is around here, or Grookey is around like? Let me see. Oh, these are rest areas. Supposed to plot. Oh, yeah, okay, it's near, you said near the classroom. I don't even know where a cave is around here. Oh, no, is it the, is it the labyrinth? Well, there's the cave. Like, where I want to know is where is the caveman? All right, so I am looking, probably looking for water inside this cave. I do not want to fight Grand Bolt. I just want to find myself a mug kip. Oh, kippers. I mean, in a cave, it feels like water would be down. Kippers? That's not a hole I could fall down. The dog with a slipper? That's Kipper. Kipper the dog. By the way, it's a toad, not a frog. Is he like anywhere in these caves, or is he just like near water? Like, what's go what's going on with Muddy Kip? I try to think of like of Kipper the dog, and the and what comes to mind instead is all of the other reindeer. I believe he could be anywhere. Jeez, I'm having terrible luck finding him then. Did Matt Groening write that children's book, or did he just adapt the, uh, the... Did he just adapt the book into a, uh, into a TV special? Shiny Milkery? Like, you found one, or, or I found one? You found one, okay. He just did the special, okay. 
There he is! Mad! Thank goodness. Bat song lyrics, thank you for the uh, the 30 months tier one saying, have you gotten Arch Archeladon yet? Also, I learned that shiny Minin is green today. I learned that while playing Pokemon Go. All right, Grookey is up next. Someone said it's next to the classroom area and the coastal area. So I heard you like mud kips. What, what TM do I have to teach Diplin to get the, uh, to get, get it to evolve? I guess I should just, like, get that out of the way, yeah. Dragon Shear! Interesting. There's Bulbasaur. Do Grookey and Bulbasaur spawn in the same area, or am I in the wrong spot? Maybe higher up? I'm in the wrong area. Someone said in the classroom area, which is what this is. Is it on the, near the coastal plaza? There's one classroom area, if I, unless I haven't found the other classroom area, but there's the this plaza area here. Let me see. Am I missing a classroom area? There's a re there's the rest area, classroom area, and then the coastal plaza. Are there multiple rest area, plaza, outdoor classroom one? This one only has the one. Saw Grookey on the shore where Poplio is in my playthrough. Near the southern rest area. There's only one rest area in uh in the coastal plains anyway, because they'd be marked as one or two otherwise. Let me try going south then. I figure I would like to swing from the trees. The truffular trees. So they found it on the beach near Poplio's domain. Domicile. I'm seeing a lot of Vigoroth. No Grookey. There's so many Esper on this beach. It scares me. Can you make a grass encounter sandwich? There's like the part of me that thinks that yes, that would be helpful, and another part of me that thinks that It'd be better to run around aimlessly to try and find it because I feel like that would save more time. Good lord, I do not see this thing at all. Grookey! But it was great. Anybody got a specific location? Like, like, because I'm getting a lot of like, like, oh, I've seen them here, I've seen them here, but I've seen them here. No, like, specific locations to where, like, they spawn. Tree. Is it like the slack off where I gotta run to the tree? There it is! 
God, I love that thing. Grook Grookey is so good. I'm so glad I chose this my starter in Gen in uh, in Gen Eight. Alright, that's everywhere for this biome. Let's head to the savannah. Name it Neil. Oh, buddy, you getting some shut eye? Actually, before we move on, uh, boxes. We're gonna evolve everything we got. Looking for the start of these things. There we go. Uh, there's also well, Charmander. I just have to evolve once. Same with same with Froakie, actually. Yeah, I named my Grookey in uh, in my uh, playthrough of uh, Pokemon Sword. Um, Neil Pert. Which I think I named it that around the time that he passed away as well. If not, I, I think it was before. I think he, I think he pa passed away after I named him that. Uh, type. I remember when I got the, that Grookey, I was like, you know what? He's like a drummer. I'm, I'm going to try to name every single, uh... I'm going to try to name every single one of my Pokemon, uh, like, mu or I'm going to try to have, like, a, like a music-themed team. And it ended up being more along the lines of, like, um... Uh, what is it? What was it called? Like, each one sort of had their own role, but I didn't go with the obvious ones of, like, um... The electric lizard with the guitar and the bass for a chest. Or, um... Whatever the singer one was. Cause, uh, or Obstagoon. Greg Beflank. Best band in the Gala region. Neil Pert on drums, uh... Oh, wow. Wow, Venusaur looks so good in this generation! Neil Pert on drums, uh... I can't remember all the names of the, of the, the things I did. Halpa me on keyboard. Schmallow on guitar. Um, Marriott on bass. Screamy on vo- uh, I'm sorry, th uh, the voice on vocals and, uh, and their producer was, um... Uh, uh, Smog- uh, yeah, Smogsworth. Smogsworth? Is that what I called him? M yeah, Marriott also being the venue. Smogsworth. Smogsworth the Galarian Weezing. Ah, yes. Oh, Sparkling Aria! I remember I had... that's... <laughs> God, I'm never gonna forget Primarina as long as I live because of the stupid thing I had to do to get around copyright. <laughs> he just chilling. He just out here chilling, turning into a frogadier. He's just out here chilling. Oh, look at him stand. 
Your mermaid is on fire. You should probably do something about that. I love Frogadier, that's so good. I already have a- I already have a Greninja. Bay! Was it- it was the TFS playthrough, uh, the Nuzlocke, where they had- where every time they showed, uh, Yo, Derek, thank you for the 69 months of, of tier one saying, It's Pikachu! Oh, never mind. Every time they had a picture of their, their Chikorita slash Bayleaf slash Meganium, the eye was always in a weird place. Mr. Steak? Yeah. Because they wanted to name it Mistake, but it was male. And it's, and instead of saying Chikorita or Bayleaf, it said it's the name of Mr. Steak, but it didn't know how to pronounce Mr. So it would say Merce Steak. Mer Steak, 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 steak. And they fell in love with him, and he, w and he wouldn't die. Mr. Steak lasted all the way to the end. They s would send in Mr. Steak as a sacrifice, and it would live. Slow Mar was from their first, uh, their first, uh, Nuzlocke in Pokemon Leaf Green. <laughs> like, their panicked voices going, HE WON'T DIE! God, Swampert looks so sick. It's- I never think about it in terms of it being, like, in a- like, a high-def- well, for how high-def Pokémon can be. Um... High-def game. Like, I think of their- like, how... Honestly ugly they looked in, like, say, Pokémon Coliseum. I have to evolve the monkey. <laughs> I do have the item printer, yes. Wow, it's amazing. It's it was only one generation since like since this was introduced and they made it look so much better in this one with like adding the texture on the fur. With like the texture on the fur does so much for it cuz it looks less like a it looks less like a like a weird banana and it looks actually like like a like an animal. The body shape is still weird, but it's, you know, the texture on the fur really helps. Yeah, the Gen 5 starters will be interesting. Jet ah. the Gem General saying, oh, the 200 bits saying, uh, you think we could do a Nuzlocke of Pokemon Battle Revolution? I really don't think so. It's possible, but would also be a real pain in the ass. Drum beating? User plays the drums, controlling the drums roots to- Oh yeah, no, this was in- Okay, I remember that now. I thought Grassy Glide was that was, uh, Rillaboom's- Is that a new move? I feel like Grassy Glide, Glide was Rillaboom's, uh, uh, signature move. I don't remember drum beating. It is a new move, okay. Alright, uh, to the Savannah, we're gonna catch Snivy, first of all. No, it wasn't Gen 8, okay. Good old Smug Leaf. I, does anyone remember those, uh, 
they when they showed the silhouettes of like what the new Pokemon were gonna be for Gen Five, and someone made like predictions of what they would be, and one of them and like the the grass one was a platypus with an acorn. It said going based off of the Oshawott, uh, going based off of Oshawott. The Oshawott silhouette. You're the acorn duck. It's never gonna stop unless I actually get the, the damn reward, is it? Why is there new information on Pokemon here? Rotom! Uh, the TNT Raider thing of the 13 months of tier one saying, ooh, 13 months. I got a dragon scale. I got a mumbo. All right, I already got Charmander from here, so I'm two for six. I don't care what anyone says, I love this thing. Rabska? Great Pokemon. Excellent design. Love it. Why are so many of my favorite Pokemon bug type? The hell are you? Oh, you're a Relor. Hello, Snivy. Savannah. Ooh, mayhaps there's one in a cave. Rellers were on that thing around like, I love you, shit ball. Also, Rellors face, 10 out of 10, no notes. You can get a Lolan Exeggutor in this DLC. Just ask one of my community regulars, Trisman, whose favorite Pokemon is Exeggutor. A nest? That's so cool! I feel like you don't see a lot of stuff like this. Rowlet. Hootie boy! Hootie boy! How far in the DLC are you? I finished with the, uh, with the Kill Kieran quest, and I'm just before heading to the office to talk to the professor. Hoots McKenzie? I already have this Decidueye, so we're good on that front. Uh, three more. What other, what other starters are here? I imagine more fi- I imagine there aren't any water types here in the savannah. Oh yeah, I made a mangy when I showed him that Ogre Pond loves me. There are two water types, okay. In the savannah. What am I looking for, and where would they be? Who are you, and how'd you get in here? I'm a locksmith, and I'm a locksmith. Bravo. Another Hoots. Another Hoots McKenzie. Totodile. Totodile, Fennekin, and Sobble. Which means look for water. Wait, is this the coastal region? Yes. Someone said check near the coastal region for uh for Toto Dial.
Wait, we're gonna go- to oh no. Wait, they're just gonna repeat the, uh, the end of, um... They're just gonna repeat the end of, uh... Oh wow, I'm at the- okay, I'm back here. So much for that theory. Um, they're just gonna repeat the end of the base game in Area Zero, aren't they? We have our three... Misfit- Misfit Companions. In Odd Delarobia, Angry Woman, and now Angry Boy. And we're gonna journey to the bottom of Area Zero where they're gonna have a life-changing revelation. That's what therapy in the Pokemon world is! Don't go to therapy! Go to the bottom of a dangerous canyon with past slash future Pokemon. Hi, Relar. Yes, yes, quite droll. I understand the negative connotations around my type of therapy, but... But, you know, just so you know, you're able to leave at any any point. Now, tell Dr. Hypno what's wrong. Oh, it's a Volibee nest! I missed what? What did I miss? It was a shiny on screen, wasn't there? Oh, there was a shiny Smeargle? Oh! Dang. When you gotta make gaffes and guffaws, you're bound to miss stuff. Check near the water. Right on, right on. Okay, this this area, this area in particular, is not great for it. Like the game does not like this area. I feel like this is where Totodile or Sobble would be. The game does not like this area. There it is. <laughs> I love all the executor like, what the fu- What are you doing to that child? I need to grab an extra Kratidos and, and Alolan Vulpix if anybody wants to trade me an uh, Alolan Sandshrew and uh, a Shield on. Alright, what two am I missing? I'm missing Fennekin and I'm missing Totodile. Where can I find those? That was easy! I'm so good at Pokemon! Deep water in Savannah. Why not just grab Shield on for Marcius? Because Pokemon Home isn't available yet. Oh, it is. Well, whatever. I'd rather trade for it because it's easier. Also, I've learned that, like, transferring in Pokemon... I can't remember which game it was in, but I, I tried transferring in, like, a ton of Pokemon from, uh, like, older games into newer ones to try to complete the Pokedex, and it didn't count them. Alright, Totodile. Deep water for Totodile. There's no deep water in the Savannah. This would probably be the closest bet. Oh, underground! Where are their cave entrances?
There's deep water. But there's no to dial on the toe to dial. Hey, hi. You want to come swimming? What you got there? Is this my new home? I gotta be home by 6.30 for dinner. My brothers are, seem a little worried. Billy Quiz Boy. Oh my god. I gotta, I gotta be yeah. I'm just thinking of the, uh, I forgot what the name of the person who makes these comics is, but like the, um... With the, uh, the, uh, oh my god, not Crocolore. The Foy Coco. That's like, always hungry. I want a snack! Time for- I bite! Yeah, they, like his best friend is Totodile who also wants to bite. Is Cyndaquil here? All the starters from Gen 1 through 8 are available here. Uh, if you use 300 BP for each biome to upgrade them. I don't know which area Cyndaquil is in, though. Which will be really funny if the first Pokemon I happen to run to in the canyon area, area is Cyndaquil. But I don't even know if it spawns here. Geodude. I was like, what the frick is that? That's very sh Hey, Tepig! Let me catch this first, but I've got to evolve some of this stuff. How do you get that much BP? Um, play with friends. Because you get, um, once- So you know how there's like the different tiers of the ones? There's like the blue ones, and then when you complete enough of the blue ones, you get the red ones? Well, in a group, if you complete enough of the red ones, you get gold ones that give a ton of BP. Like upwards of 500. No! Oh wait, I'm too, I'm too high level. Roar is such a terrifying move. I hate it. All right, uh, what can I hit it with that would not do a lot of damage? Iron Head from Morton? Complete what? Uh, the, uh, the BBQs, the, uh, the blueberry quests. What happens when bacon is trying to cook me back? Actually, this works out great being burned. It's gonna do like no damage. Flinch? That was a crit? Good lord! Oh, that ain't good. I got. I better start throwing balls now if it's gonna start doing that. Sunpire, are you part of my Discord group? Guarantee anybody there would be happy to play with you. Check the, uh, under the, uh, the games discussion. Check out the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet discussion thread. Yeah, what was it? We grinded for like what? What was it? Like two hours? Then I got enough. What uh, I got enough of what I needed from everybody just grinded and out with me. Just all the grinding. We just grinded everywhere, grinding. Just dudes being guys grinding. I look at the bottom, there's like, <laughs> oh, they changed cancel and like, man, I wonder how many other games have done that. Changing cancel to, uh, never mind. 
Let's be real, is it because of cancel culture? There's a shining freak. Just two buff dudes standing back to back. Jacking it. Those are its arms? Honestly, I feel like I feel like it's less silly if it just didn't have arms. Those two leaves there are its arms. Now it just looks silly. Almost, has anyone ever seen like it's a comic about a uh What was it? It's a it's a comic about a um Oh my god, what the hell are those things called? Oh, it's like a snake and a bomb defusal officer. And he's like, do you know how to defuse this bomb? And the snake goes, I have the knowledge, but not the ability. And it shows like two ghost hands in front of the snake, showing that it doesn't have the hands it needs to do that. I love that comic, it's so good. What? What? Sub what? Hmm. Whatever. When I grow up, I'm gonna be a gay spy. It's gonna be super rad. Yeah. Fuck. Whatever. I was a crybaby when I was younger, but the world's just sucks. I'm gonna be a gay spy when I'm when I'm grown up. And I'm fabulous. Intellion crocodile alligator. You're just bringing up all the Adventure Bros uh references, ain't you? I love it. There's probably so many people uh, who played Pokemon X and Y and thought evolution should st the evolution of this thing should stop here. My favorite thing about about Brakeson is the fact that its tail with the stick looks like a um it the, its tail with a stick looks like a witch's broom. And we got Delphox. Man woman, shave your ears! Or man. Man, remember when Mystical Fire was uh, was Delphox's signature move? And then like God, how many other Pokemon have it now? Upgrade, upgrade, go the fuck back. There's the caveman. I love how they designed this thing to look like a punk Fred Flintstone. And it goes from punk Fr Fred Flintstone to badass horrifying alligator. Yeah! Oh my god, he still needs a spinal adjustment. Oh no, those are shoulder- <laughs> those are shoulder blades. And he's got leg shoulder blades too!
Actually, like th this model of alligator looks looks, looks uh, very much in line with um. Whoops. Whoops. Oh, for ah oh, for. Looks very much in line with Croconaw. <laughs> we call those hip bones. True. That's true. Oh, Tepig. Ashes. Ashes. Pig Knight never evolved, did it? Nope, yeah, he didn't have a... Did he have a Gigalith? Or did he have... Or did, did he stick with Bulldore? He just had Bulldore. Wow. I like him. You know what, actually? Oh my god! He's just a f I, I, like... Let me- I, I wanna- I need to check something just real quick. Yeah, that wouldn't be too far-fetched. Good, um, good nickname for a shiny, uh, for a shiny Embor. Jimbei. He looks like Jimbei from One Piece. All right, the rest of the canyon Pokemon. All right, uh... What am I looking for? Oh, I, uh, yeah, I've got to get the Pokedex thing, otherwise the game's never going to shut up. Get the alloy. Oh, I got the other uh, 200. Oh, oh, okay, there is more. Uh, so what all am I looking for here? I got- Whoa! Hi, Rotom! Uh, I already have, uh, I have Decidueye from, uh, one of the raids. Earthquake. Good TM. I do not need all the versions of Rotom, no. I'm glad it shoved me out of the cave. Pools of water, maybe we could find some water types there. Water type starter, maybe. Seedra. Geodude. Seedra. 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 There's a lot of Seedra. Yes, Greggy was just waiting there to kick my ass. Ooh, there, there isn't one in Charge Stone Cave, is there? Uh, what all am I looking for down here again? Litten, Turtwig, Chespin, Squirtle, and Trico. Chespin is a Chespin is a, Ch a Charge Stone Cave. Okay. Oh wait, Squirtle. 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 I pasted Squirtle? Well, good. My scrapbook would be incomplete without him. All right. It's currently raining. He's got iron defense. I think I could Ivy Cudgel him and not kill him. If not, there's another Squirtle right next to him. Ivy Cudgel. I did a good thing here. Squirtle is female. When you are right, you are right. Shell smash, you say? The Alolan Geodude is currently behind my webcam now. This Squirtle is just like... You're gonna have to work for me. 
but I can cast a net. All the Gen 1 starters have been obtained. That Squirtle's like, my friend. What did you do to with my friend? Ooh, ah, uh, sorry. Skarmory Swablu. I'm looking for Turtwig, Litten, and Trico. Oh, I need to catch one of these. This is the Trico spot. Trick! I see one. It did despawned. Try to pan around and see if there's another Trico. God, I honestly feel like Throat Chop would do. Yeah, Throat Chop will definitely do less damage than. Damn it! That's why they call him No Defense Spence. Oh yeah, repeat balls. Ha! Huh. A wedding ring. It has an inscription. Hard luck. Classy. There we go, critical catch. It can still pop out of a critical catch, right? It's just the chances are much slimmer. Like a critical catch just reduces the odds that it can get out. Trico. Pinko. Rainy does. Uh, Trico. Ah, uh, chinchillas and dinos, Ankylosaurus. Living together in harmony. Fracture. See, do. Nature is healing. <laughs> I have no idea, like, man, like, sky's the limit for generation 10. For the, I feel like, you know, like, they should probably try to do something special for like the 10th generation of Pokemon. I don't know if they will. If they stick to just like one, one region like they have been for the past, you know, technically eight or se uh, seven because gen two technically had two regions in it. Uh. There it is. Australia. I, I would either want them to go to Australia or go back to Japan uh, for it. All right. Charge Stone Cave. 
for chest spin, and then I forgot what else I'm looking for here. Turtwig, Turtwig, oh, Turtwig, Litten, and Chespin. In Deva. Maybe it won't kill it? It killed it. it. Took me so long to find that, and it's like. Africa would be a good one, too. Antarctica. They haven't done China yet. Considering the uh, the treasures of ruin, I feel like China would be uh, would be like, that that would that would be like a good enough hint for uh, for a uh, region based around China. Greece. All right, uh, I need three more. Turtwig and Litten. Turtwig and Litten seem to spawn around the mountaintop. Uh, well, that seems pretty tall. Let's try up there. Then I'll go into Charge Stone Gate, uh, Cave. I mean, there's been so much Gen 5 love in this. There's Litten. Gen 5 love in this, uh, this DLC alone. That it's like, it, it, it almost feels like very, <laughs> Either A, it's like a really heavy-handed hint at that, that something Unova-related is coming, or they're gonna be like, nah, you got enough Unova in uh, in uh, the Blueberry Academy DLC, we're moving on. I pitched the idea of a Pokemon Legends game that takes place in the in like a in like the future of Unova and involves a lot of the characters we see here but older. My other, uh, my other pitch for uh, for like a Legends Unova would be, uh, what am I looking for? Would Turtwig be in like the craggy areas? My other pitch for, uh, for, my God, my brain is breaking today. My other pitch for like a Legends Unova would be it takes place around like 1920s New, uh, New York. I don't think Litten and Turtwig would spawn in the same area. Yeah, they gave us a lot of history in the Kalos one. Are you shiny? No. Whenever I see the purple, I always think it's shiny because of the pink portion of the Sinistee. Yeah, because the cup is pink there. Run the time of the Industrial Revolution. No, after that. When was the stock market, stock market crash? It was after World War, uh, it was after World War One, right? I'd say probably around the time of World War One. So like maybe like 19, 1910s, like late 1910s, early 1920s. I am shocked. Like, good on you guys for knowing your history. Because I am, I'm shocked at how many people just have that knowledge off the bat. I feel like, it, first off, I feel like that was a very, like, interesting time in America's history. Sort of like that, that Roaring Twenties era. And plus, I feel like it would be, like, the perfect, uh, time if they made a Legends game based around Meloetta. I'm having trouble finding Turtwig and need help. I get the feeling I may have soared too high. Like a Pokemon Legends, like Pokemon Legends Meloetta. 
Go to the North Fly Point. My dad's a history buff. If I didn't know this info, I'd probably be disowned. I think it's a little harsh. Is your dad all right? Are you all right? I'm fine, my dad's chill. Excellent. It's always good if you can foster a good relationship with your parents. And if you can't, then it's important to set up boundaries so that way, you know, you're in your comfort zone. Because listen, let's be real, not everybody's familial situation is the same. You might be best friends with your parents, you might be on neutral terms with your parents, you might hate your parents. Uh. It's important to give, give yourself and uh, like, it's important to like to know when to give chances and know when to, this isn't from personal experience by the way, I've got a great relationship with my parents. Someone said, oh hey Turtwig and now I'm like, I don't know if they saw it on here or if they found one in their game. But now I'm paranoid. I do need Sandshrew and Shield on. I'm probably gonna trade for them once I'm, I'm done gathering all the starters. It's probably despawned right by now. Damn it! But it's somewhere around here, right? In this like in this rocky area, or is it down by the grass? Oh, there it is. Oh my God! Look at him run. Turtwig is supposed to be so slow. Yet he's so fast. Hold on. I like the screenshot. Turtwig's like, oh, it's you! And Ogre Pond's like, yes, it's me! I have not gotten the free Master Ball for Mystery Gift yet, no. It's just grass type, right? It's defensive. I don't I think Horn Leech will keep it alive. There we go. Underbits from Microwave Dallas are saying, Turtles can fucking book it if they want. That's true. I'm just saying based on its stats, because Turtwig is, is probably one of the slowest, if not the slowest starter. How long did it take to get the BP upgrade for the Aries for the starters? Uh, two hours in a full group of four people. Because if you're in a full group of uh, four people, then they get their, uh, then their completion of quests gives you, uh, Gives you stuff as well. Gives you BP as well. Not nighttime, I'm going Ultra Balls. Crumch. Uh, Legends Eden would be around the Great War that happened to Surge, that Surge was a part of, but also a bit too dark for Pokemon. I think it'd be a little bit too, cause like Legends is supposed to be kind of like set in the past, you know? Like way in the past. Surge is not that old, unless he's, you know, unless he's got like a great cosmetic surgeon. He named this tur uh, Turtwig Tortellini after Chilled's Turtle? It's a tortoise. Yeah, young Drayden would be great. Guys, I don't think we're gonna find Chespin. It's also possible that the 10th generation of Pokemon will take place in the future. Um, because I feel like the Paradox Pokemon kind of dropped that hint a little bit. 
The Paradox Pokemon were distant past. We had a game that took place in the past in Pokemon Legends Arceus. Is Chespin defensive? Is Chespin bulky? Yes, yes it is. How far into the future though? That's a good question. Why? Why? Why does this thing go pain split? What? I didn't want to throw that. If I somehow catch this, I will. I, like I, I, I have, there's a very real chance that if I finish that sentence, I would, I would be not okay. You've, uh, Chespin, you've got to stop. You have to let me go, LeBron. Have I told y'all about that? At the end of, uh... Spoilers for Space Jam 2. But at the end of Space Jam 2, uh... Everyone's like... God. At the end of Space Jam 2, um, the whole thing takes place in, takes place in like a video game. And uh, like the, the kid who designed it's like, oh, in order to do this, we got, we need like a, uh, you know, do this specific cheat code, uh, you know, yada, yada, yada. But the person who does it will be, you know, de-rezzed and be deleted forever and die. So, Bugs Bunny is like, oh, I'll do it. Like, you know, I'll, I'll like, I'll do this to like sacrifice, you know, sacrifice myself to get you guys to safety and everything. And, <laughs> and so like, he's gone. Like Bugs Bunny like pulls it off, like saves the day and, and essentially dies. And then like, he's just gone. And at the end of the movie, it's like LeBron coming out of uh, out of like basketball practice. There is nobody around. There's nobody around at all. No people walking on the street or anything like that. And Bugs Bunny comes out of nowhere and starts like talking to LeBron. Like it's no big deal about like Taco Tuesday and whatnot. And there's nobody around. And my first thought is like LeBron's having <laughs> LeBron's having like visions of Bugs Bunny because he's got survivor's guilt. So my first like thing I said after that was you got to let me go, LeBron. <laughs> And the accident wasn't your fault. Seriously, watch the end of Space Jam 2. It looks like a like a vision of his imagination because there's nobody around. There were no extras in that shot. I told that to Aphex like as we were watching Space Jam and he fucking died. You know, explain how he comes back? No! Like, Bugs doesn't say that. That was my interpretation of what happened in that movie, but it's just like... Like... It's so open to interpretation with that! Is it a good movie in your opinion? No. It's not. <laughs> Just watch the part where Bugs Bunny deletes himself and then Bugs Bunny appears as a as a as a Jacob Marley style ghost to LeBron at the end of the movie. Listen, that's how I interpret it. I think I have so many of these EXP candies. I think they, they, uh, <laughs> it's funny, cause like, Rick and Morty make an appearance in, uh, in, um, 
uh, Space Jam 2. And then I think it was this season of uh, Rick and Morty where they where they find like a dead Rick and Morty and they're like, oh, don't worry about them. Those are the ones that made that weren't those are the ones that were in Space Jam 2. Blastoise. You know, I just realized they made a habit of giving kitty ears to uh, to two of their three starting po starter Pokemon. Now I want to imagine a world where Charizard has the kitty has kitty ears instead of the uh, instead of the horn, instead of the two horns. But in you. Oh, it's a cute little kitty. Oh, it's a big kitty. Wow. I can't wait to see the badass, like, the badass four-legged creature that Tora Cat's going to evolve into. Man, it's going to be like this giant panther thing that's, that shoots fire. Oh, it's going to be so cool and sleek looking. This is going to be great. Oh no, go back. <laughs> I like Incineroar. I like it. Incineroar is great. I think its inclusion in Smash was really good because it fits the style as well. What is. Oh yeah, when. Uh, uh, I remember when, uh, when uh, I was in this camp as well. I remember when Sprigatito was first revealed. And everyone was like, stay on all fours. There's like the memes of like of like people putting uh, <laughs> tape over Sprigatito's front feet so it stays down. And it was fruitless indeed. What was the last mammal starter that wasn't on all fours? That where its final evolution was was bipedal. Or I'm sorry, what was the last uh quadrupedal mammalian? Starter Pokemon. <laughs> Samurott? Jeez. Although I guess with like with Score Bunny, Score Bunny started off as bipedal, and Grookey makes sense because ape. <laughs> to be fair, Incineroar is a heel wrestler. Wrestler, it's supposed to be hated. I guess it's supposed to be hated in personality, not design. Technically argue Primarina is on all fours because it physically can't stand up. That's true. But it is a mermaid. Sorry, Selkie. God, you have no idea how many people told me that one when I was uh when I made that uh that that uh Z move animation. The Irish are just salty. I take effect. I take offense to that. Uh, Tundra is the last one I need. That's gonna be 
Hiplop. Uh, Torchic, which is weird that it's in the polar biome. Where do you find Trico again? Oh, goodness, I, I don't remember. A beast ball. I can guarantee my catch of a shiny and a beast ball. One of your brothers had a red tail and I was so upset that I missed it. I feel like I want to hunt a, a shiny Smeargle now. Given how easily you can get, uh, you can get, uh, what is it, uh, uh, Oh my god, what's it called? I shall what? Uh, given how easily you can get, uh, what the hell are they called? Urban Mystica in this one. Shiny hunting should be pretty easy. I shall show I shall show I shall Hang on, I, I've got something I need to share. He's so happy. Oh, this ain't good. Oh, it's weak as hell, okay. Iron Head. That's gonna do less damage. I should full restore. I kept seeing people talk about the uh, the animated show Bluey, like the children's animated show Bluey, and like it. A lot of it didn't make sense to me. Is like why people liked it so much, and then I started getting recommended clips on on YouTube uh, YouTube Shorts. I get it now. It's super. It's super charming. Very well animated. Sends a good message. I do like it's it's kind of funny how they do kind of like blend in the uh the fact that they are like basically bipedal animals. Cuz what was it? There's like one there's, there's one of the shorts I saw was like their like the, their dad was trying to get the uh, Bluey and Bingo out of the bathtub cuz it was getting cold. But they were playing burger stand in like burger shop in the uh in in the bathtub. So it said the dad gets in there uh or no, they, they try to. He tries to get him out. It's like your lips are turning blue, and Bluey goes, "I'm a blue healer," which is a breed, which is the breed of dog they are. So then the mom comes in. The dad's in the tub with them, uh, playing the the burger game with them, and uh, and and she goes, "Bandit, Bluey's lips are turning blue," and and Bandit, the dad goes, "She's a blue healer." Quick ball. Wait, I already have a piplup. When? Where? Why? How? Did I get one hack? Mm. 
I did hatch the egg from Kitakami! Those bastards! Flinch! Silence! I recorded an alert for, uh, for Pasta stream. I don't know if it's out yet. But, uh, she was talking to someone, they, and they sent her... You know, like, the, the silence, like, the, uh, the crab shooting lasers out of its eyes meme that says, like, Silence Brand or whatever? This time it says Silence VTuber. And so she wanted me to voice it using the Crabatron effects. Missed! <laughs> I'm sorry, you can't type the name Joel in my chat ever again. Also, apparently the artist of uh, Bluey is a fan of Vinny and Spinning Fish from Vine Sauce. <laughs> <laughs> I know Joel streams, but it'd be really funny if he had BTTV with the Jolie mode on there. Whenever someone's trying to talk to him, how you doing, spinning fish? Why did I install this? <laughs> Wet game. A bear just spawned in. What am I missing? Torchic, Cyndaquil. Uh. Not sure what else. I think Joel. I think the Joeler for this set is as fast as Joelist. It is cap sensitive. Yes. Score bunny. That's three. Why the heck is Porygon here? Because it's a man-made island. I think it's a good enough explanation for, for Porygon being there, is that this is a man-made man -made, uh, environment. Oh, and Chimchar. No grass-type Pokemon here. I'm gonna go ahead and... Well, no, I should probably chuck a, chuck a ball. Get out here and chuck a ball. Someone's got sleep whoops. Son Goku. Up, oh, score bunny. Such a sweet pup. I wonder if he knows I'm talking about him. Aye, this is just like the Highlands in Galar. I'm not good at doing a, uh, doing a Scottish accent. At least with my natural voice. Well, he could barely do an Irish accent. And that's where my genes come from. Oh, tear. Switching in for Morton. I know that's more Irish than Scottish. I can't do Scottish. How many shiny mini or people have seen without knowing what they are? Are the rest of the Pokemon I'm looking for fire type? I just realized. Oh no! It's kind of 
like how people have trouble. I mean, like there's a English uh, accents are very like are very are, are pretty varied. Like obviously you can tell an Irish accent from like a from like a like a uh, I don't know like a Cockney accent. They throw Welsh in there. It's like like it seems like it seems like the uh, the the dialects and accents in the UK are more of a um are more of a gradient than like hard lines. All right. Uh, I'm missing Tor Chicken Cyndaquil. Oh, I need Vulpix. Did I pass another shiny Smeargle? No, it's my screen making it look yellow. Gotcha. Oh, it's the shade. Okay. All right. Where are Cyndaquil and Torchic? Can't imagine them being by the water. Uh, go west, young Meowth. Chargestone Cave extends underneath the ice area, so are either of them in Chargestone Cave? Cyndaquil would probably be the uh, the most likely one. Is that Pokemon you're using? Ogre Pond. It's from the uh, the Kitakami DLC. Child of Ham, I'm very cold. What made you think? Caves on the island? What does that mean? I know they are they are caves, but I don't, oh, though they're in caves. Okay. Caves on the island. Which which island? Plenty of those around here. I'm assuming Cyndaquil's in that. Where is Torchic? Hello, Oshawott. You're not what I'm looking for. Soon you'll freeze to death. You'll have to cut open your karate and sleep inside of it. <laughs> oh, I just had a terrible thought. Like, it's 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 essentially that scene from Star Wars where Han cuts open the Tauntaun for Luke to sleep inside of. But instead, it's like it's your character and uh, and like your Karaidon or Miraidon. Probably better with Karaidon. I imagine there's like an alternate take with with Miraidon where you try to do it and it's just all machinery, cold cold on living machinery inside. But you <laughs> you cut open the uh, you cut open Karaidon and like you nestle inside of it and then a text box pops up that just says Karaidon fainted. I mean, this is a cave. Whoa, I found a mass outbreak of milk. That cave was cursed. Dear God. Dear God in heaven. A score bunny.
the quill and the chick remain. I'm on the border of this realm. Where, where is the uh, cave entrance? Well, no, I know where a cave entrance is. It's by, it's right next to one of the, uh, well, I'm pretty sure it's Chargestone Cave, but like there's an, a cave entrance right next to like this. Is it this one? No. Torchic! One of these is next to a cave. Oh, oh buddy, you eepy. What am I looking for here? Uh. Mr. Rose Dragon Slayer, tell him I'm gonna say if you have Toad School, use the Synchro Machine with a tr- Oh my God! Oh my God! That's the best idea ever! Oh look, a group of Chimchar. Got a Cyndaquil or Torchic among the bunch. Yep, I'm looking for Torchic and Cyndaquil. Where'd you find Cyndaquil? Found Cyndaquil. Where? Share the deets, man! East of Polar Rest. Small cave on the southeast side. What of Torchic? What of the Torchic? I can't ride Karide on here, it's too tight. Oh, this cave. Oh, that cave. That's the cave I was looking for. But you said east. Hello, Piplup. Pippas, you should meet Kippas. Perhaps Cyndaquil was the friends we made along the way. I don't know. Hello, hello, Matang. There's a TM up here. Uh, I guess I'm going in and out of the cave. Ow! There's a cub chew. You're not a Cyndaquil! Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace is the most disappointing movie I've ever seen. It's even more disappointing than my son. There you are. Last but not least is the chick. Roll out! He's transforming and rolling out! Damn it! I killed him. He's dead. Fire sandwich time? No. I refuse.
I'm gonna try a different cave. There's gotta be a bigger one. There's an entrance to charge stone cave over here. It's still in the frost area. Maybe that's, maybe I can find Cyndaquil in there. All that's missing is the chick. The tall chick. Yes, it's still on the icy side, so technically it should spawn in here, right? Or does it not spawn in Charge Stone Cave? Like in a wall. Does not spawn in Charge Stone Cave. Dodger, dodger. But just caves in the ice area. Now, was that the big cave entrance? No, the big cave entrance is over there, which goes into Charge Stone Cave. Hello, Pippas. Hello, all shewats. All shewat? What is this one over here? Charged Stone Cave counts as the canyon biome. Interesting. That's pretty stupid considering it, it runs into uh, it runs into this biome. Are there any other caves? I can't imagine they would relegate Cyndaquil to one tiny cave. They're like, this thing is the same stats as Charizard. We do not want anybody knowing about it. We are going to put a moratorium on anything Cyndaquil by putting it in one tiny little cave. Shiny Milkery is like is is brighter white, right? Like it's not like this cream color, it's more it's more white. Like very distinctly white. That can't be like the only cave system around here if Cyndaquil spawns in caves in the polar biome. Why is nothing spawning in here? Good lord! I am the milkman. I must deliver the milk. Anybody got any ideas? Are there other caves around here? I'll gladly accept back seating for this. A group of Ashera. Wow, really? There are two non-charged stone caves in the polar biome. One has Cyndaquil, one has Torchic. That is awful. Damn it. I say so what? I think there's one Cyndaquil in the entire game, and I killed it.
ladies and gentlemen, we have made a habitat specifically for Cyndaquil. Right now we have one, but once we find another, we can repopulate the, the entire species. And a trainer just came in and killed it. Oh my god. Okay. I'm going to the Pokemon League, a completely useless building because you can't re-challenge them. There was one on the map? That just shows that Cyndaquil can be there. It doesn't show it be actually being there. I question the logic of putting a chicken in the Arctic. Ah, the classic music. Found the cave, it's over by Drayton. The Torchic Cave. And then once we're done with, uh, this, I'll do the trades, and then we'll, uh... Then I'll evolve those. Then I'll evolve the other thing, and then we'll finish, uh, the, the hidden <laughs> treasures of Area Zero. Excuse me. Uh... <laughs> Torchix is frozen as a Tyson chicken nugget. God, the story of how they made Torchic and its evolutions is so sad. There you are. Why sad? Uh, they're based on a phenomenon in Japan called painted chicks, which were like were baby chickens that were that were painted to look bright and colorful, but when they started getting older, they would just be thrown out. It's incredibly depressing. <laughs> they, yeah, they intentionally made Combuskin and Blaziken uh, ugly for that reason. left is... Oh, hi, bear. Alright. There's a cave entrance next to Drayden. At the, the Polar Plaza. There we go. Drayton, excuse me. Not Drayden. Drayton. I feel like, uh, not Blaziken, but rather Combuskin is more based on that, that sort of, like, theory of them just being ugly. The cave? This is a cave, I don't think it's the cave. It's south. Wait, is this it? You know, shout out to all the people who got painted chicks and then like when they grew into chickens, they like kept them and raised them. Cause you know there's gotta be at least one person who who had a heart. Let's 
Snubble. Nummel. <coughs> Isn't KFC popular in Japan? The uh, demand the uh, in Japan uh, popular in Japan. The donations are probably high. Uh, I doubt it because they probably couldn't use chick meat, unless the unless like they gave them the chickens. Set up the ledge here. Unless they gave him the chicks to raise, you know? A score bunny. Oops. Should be a cave entrance somewhere around here. Looking for the chicken cave. There it is. Nope, that's not it. I don't think this is it. Oh, this is it. I found the chicken cave. Whoo! All the starters! All of them added to my Pokedex. All right. Ashawat. Piplop. Chimichar. Score Bunny. Cyndaquil. Torchic. Torchic. Turn into going from a rooster chick into a cock, a full on cock. Nice cock. Blaziken. <laughs> Go, Cox! <laughs> the internet provider? It quill lava. South Carolina Gamecocks, yep. I'm surprised there are more fire type Pokemon in the ice biome than there are water. The distribution is very weird. I figure like I figured Turtwig would probably be like one of the ones they would put into the uh, the ice biome because of because of like Sin Sinnoh's cold cold climate. That would have put all the Gen Four starters in this one area, though.
I already have that one, so I do not need. Raboot is just a Digimon, let's be serious. And all the other water Pokemon are sensitive to cold, their inspirations are. Turtle, alligator, mud skipper, penguin, otter, frog, um, sea lion, chameleon. The only, uh, yeah, the only other one would have been the would have been the sea lion. But they put one that one in a good spot anyway because it came from a tropical climate anyway. There he is, Song Wukong. What if they gave uh, Infernape a, uh, a a hold item that was a bow, like a bow staff? And he's just Sun Wukong. All, he's just Wukonging all over this place. Plop. <laughs> I like how, like, at Prinplup, you could just be like, okay, yeah, that's an adult penguin, no big deal. I don't think we need to go any further than that. This is, this is what it is. It's an adult penguin and, penguin and oh god, it's changing again. Oh, dear lord. No penguin in the, in the universe looks like this. A mod that replaces Infernape's cry with, Hey, it's me, Goku! <laughs> yeah, the basis for the, the, the theme for the starters this generation was entertainment. You have a singer, uh, a dancer, and a magician. For my, <laughs> by my scalp chop, I will cut you down, or my name is an OSHA violation. What? Your middle name's Violation. <laughs> RDSK, like that was really good. All right. All right. Uh, next up, give me the D for Diplin. Party back in play here. I'll leave Greg Beflank in the box. My name's Jeff. Uh, 100 bits from Jet the Gem Drill saying, Have you ever seen macaroni penguins? I have not. Alright. And bag. TM whatever for Dragon Cheer. Bag. I really want to get a good look at this thing because it's, it's probably. I think it's gonna look really cool. Diplin, I think, has the second most evolutions out of any Pokemon. Uh, next, uh, second only to Eevee. God, it's such a wild thing. Seven serpents live inside an apple made of syrup. Good lord. What does Fickle Beam do? User shoots a beam of light to inflict damage. Sometimes all the user's heads shoot the beam in unison, doubling the moves. Oh my god! 
it just it's a random chance that it does a that has 160 power So the fickleness comes from the the user essentially. Oh, I know the news. All right, I want my I want Grigba flank back. All right, open up the trade. Whoever wants to do it, link trade. Uh, I need um. Uh, I need shield on, and I need a lowland sand shrew. Five six three nine is the trade code. Five six three nine. Na, 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 na. Give me the shrew. <laughs> Give me the shrew, Max. Who is this, by the way? Make yourself known in my chat. Two of you said it's me, and I'm more willing to believe it's Mega EVX, considering it's a that's a uh, a an acronym for uh for Max. <laughs> it's possible two of <laughs> it's possible one of you got somebody else from chat. Remember, I'm Plungo. Sorry, it's me. Oh, which one of you is Mex? Are we gonna do an I'm Spartacus thing? Okay, Mega EVX is that. Uh, actually, it's me. All right, and then uh. finally the. What am I looking for here? Ah, oh, the Crane Dose. There we go. For the Shrew. Give me the Shrew. Hundred bits from Rose Dragon Slayer. Given it's almost three thirty in the morning, I gotta go to bed. We'll catch the vod next tomorrow. Good night, Tom. Yeah, it's almost two thirty in the morning for me, but I really want to finish this. I had my name Battle Igloo, and I love digging. I love Bastionon. I was watching uh, Emil's uh, Black and White 2 Let's Play episode today. Have fun, thank you. <laughs> Alolan Santra is so freaking cute. I love that little guy. <laughs> but this bastard, I love it. All the legendaries are shiny locked. Oh, interesting. Uh, things I did not know. All right, I need an ice stone for Shwu. And I need to level up shield on. Morons. Shieldon's really- Shieldon's cute. Bastion, on the other hand. It is neat that it's kind of like camouflaged. Like, I wouldn't expect its eyes to be so low on its head. It wants to learn to move block. Alright, do I have an ice stone? Yes. Oh yeah, we also gotta do uh, the we gotta also gotta do the thing for the uh, the uh, the photo lady. A Lula form for sand slash. Okay, how far into the Pokedex are we? Pretty far. Oops. 
were some solid Pokemon added to this. I must say. Uh, and then head back here. Suggest you save the photo lady for after the thing with the professor. Interesting. Shield on is not in Scarlet. No, it's only in Violet. Five more volumes on target. My next reward. Question mark X question mark. Interesting. How many Pokemon am I away from a complete Pokedex here? Probably should have gone the other way. Oh! Oh, okay! Teacher, not professor. I, I have no idea what that is, but I'm excited! I, I have theories. I'm, I can only imagine that two, that there are 242 Pokemon in here. Here we are, Ms. B. Thank you all for coming. I'm pleased to inform you that some very special guests are here to see you today. They left for a tour of the school mere minutes ago, but I believe they'll return soon enough. In the meantime, I'll fill you in all in on the situation. Please, have a seat. Don't mind if I do. These knees are creaking. Oh, please. You're not old enough for that yet. Ah, Plungo. I'd heard you were busy battling your way up the BB League. But to think you made it as far as champion. What a dazzling accomplishment. Thanks, I guess. Sorry, Miss Briar, but could we leave all that for another time? What's this thing you want to tell us about? My apologies, that was insensitive of me. Let me get straight to today's topic then. I want all of you here to join me on an expedition to the secluded and mysterious Area Zero. Area Zero? That's the place in Paldea you wanted to go visit, right? You got permission? My main goals are to investigate she didn't answer yes or no, the terrestrial phenomenon to gather samples of the crystals present in the crater. But to be honest, I also have one more ambition for this trip. I'm hoping to find Terrapagos, the legendary Pokemon slumbering in Area Zero. Terrapagos, a legendary Pokemon? A rather ex uh, exciting idea, isn't it? <laughs> I saw, I, I see Gita and I'm like, oh. And then I see Rika and I'm like, yes! There you are, Gita. I was just getting the kids up to speed. I do apologize for my tardiness. Miss Gita! Champion Plungo, I certainly didn't expect to run into you here. Ah, of course. You must be participating in the student exchange program. Plungo just got crowned our new BB League champion, too! Your talent is as brilliant as always, I see. Truly a wonderful thing. I'm sorry, like, Gita is probably one of the most dull, uh, like, dull characters in Pokemon. She, she's been developed to have, like, no personality whatsoever. Very, like, very straightened by the books. Rika, on the other hand! Woo! If you'll be going along, then I suppose that bodes well. Is it alright if I explain the situation to the children, Briar? By all means. First, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Gita. I am the chairwoman of the Pokemon League in Paldea. More than a decade ago, the Pokemon League provided support for research on Area Zero, the giant crater in the center of Paldea. Once that research was complete, we shifted our duties to monitoring and managing the area. Area Zero is full of mysteries and also danger. Generally speaking, the area is off limits, even for research. That being said, recently we had to, we've had to, uh, to confront the possibility that dangerous Pokemon could escape escape the area. There is a clear need for further research and quickly. But at our Pokemon League, we've had trouble finding capable personnel, not to mention uh, time to study Area Zero. So, 
You reached out to me as I've been requesting access to that area for some time now. I apologize that we are not better equipped to deal with this ourselves. Blueberry Academy has a wealth of highly skilled trainers with well-trained Pokemon. And with champion Plungo on the, also on the team, I know I could safely initiate a new expedition. This is entirely voluntary, of course, but it would be reassuring uh, to, you, uh, to have you with us. What do you say? Will you join a little team in Area Zero? I'm in! Splendid. Well said, Champion Plungo. Uh, well, I think it's already decided that I'm going. I will, uh, you, your support will be very useful as always, Carmine. I appreciate having you on board. Sorry, but I'll pass on this one. Lee Club's a whole mess right now. We need my steady hand on the wheel here. Sure, you just can't be bothered to travel all the way up to Paldea, can you? <laughs> Guilty! I'm curious what our mighty ex-champion is thinking, though. I'm going. If there's a legendary Pokemon there, I want to find it and catch it. This time, I won't let this chance go. Interesting. Then it's decided. It's too bad that Drayton won't be joining us, but it seems the team will consist of Carmine, Kira, and Plungo, and myself. You have my thanks for your help on this matter. Is Rika gonna say anything? I look forward to the great findings that you, uh, you will no doubt bring back. I'm grateful for the opportunity, Gita. Leave it to me. My dream of exploring Area Zero is finally becoming a reality. Now, time to prepare. Let's meet by the bridge at the Academy entrance as soon as we're ready. Okay, now I should do the photo ladies quest. I'm kidding, we're gonna, we're gonna just head out there. It's been a while, Champion Plungo. Hey, kiddo. Reek is here, too. At your service. Not gonna lie, never dreamed we'd be running into you. I see that you are putting your skills to good use and living up to your title as Paldea Champion, even while abroad. Doing my best. <laughs> Indeed. I would expect nothing less from a talented trainer such as yourself. Yeah, definitely got talent. Lots of talent. Not enough to get you off the hook. You went to the Great Crater without the League's permission, didn't you? Don't think you're not gonna get, uh, you're not gonna get a scolding for that. That's what champions do? What's that got to do with AZ? You can't just be, go breaking rules willy-nilly. Calm down, Rika. No harm came to her after all. And besides, we have good reason to believe that all of Paldea would have been at risk if, if Champion Plungo hadn't ventured into Area Zero. Well, yeah, I mean, that's true, but... Fine, I'll let you off the hook this one time. Better thank the boss for stepping in. Don't think poorly of Rika. I don't! I think poorly on you! She's just worried for you. Now then, Champion Plungo. This time, we'll be heading t to Area Zero with official League permission. Only a handful of people know about the incident involving the time machine. However, taking into account the dangers of Area Zero, I've elected to inform Ms. Briar of what happened. Uh, obfuscating certain details. Speaking of, boss, didn't you say you had something to give that bri to that Briar person? Ah, uh, yes, I did. I'd forgotten about that. Champion Plungo, would you be so kind as to take this for me? The Indigo Disc. A mysterious disc with an Indigo Shine to it, given to you by the top champion. It seems to be tied to Area Zero. What is that, anyway? TM or something? Thank it is a God. disc that was sent to, uh, by an Area Zero researcher uh, to an investor some time ago. I had my investigation team look into it. It is certainly not a TM, nor is it a mere tool for storing data. Mr. Snow with the 74 months of Tier 1 saying, In a better timeline, Rico would have been champion, and Erase would have been the region's, region's second strongest Claude Sire. <laughs> because, uh, uh, because knowing any player plays, this they'll have a Claude Sire on their team. It contained a strange software titled Doom. I honestly have no idea of its true purpose, but I assume it has to do with Area Zero. I figure that since you're heading to Area Zero, I might as well ask you to investigate the purpose of the disc while you're there. Well, she's there, huh? Did you want her to pick up some potato salad on the way back, too? I do ask you to return the disc to me if you end up not finding any use for it. There's still so much we do not know about Area Zero. I know you've already been to its depths, but please exercise some caution while dealing with the environment and the Pokemon there. As a champion, it falls on you to protect and guide those accompanying you. Wish I can go with you, kid, but I've got my own work to do. Do your best down there. Don't push yourself too hard, you hear? God, I love her. Now, please excuse us.
Rika is so good. Why is she so good? This theme... For some reason, this song reminds me of another song. Let me see if it comes back around. Damn it, it didn't. It reminds me of the the uh, game corner theme from uh, Pokemon uh, Pokemon Gold and Silver. <laughs> Kiki's awful quiet. I hope he's okay. He was so bent out of shape when he lost. Oh, you know what? I want to uh, boxes. Uh, I think I, I, the only reason I trained up Melissa was uh to um <laughs> was to get uh Kieran's goat. I think I want the rest of my party back though. We need to applaud the clod. Oops. No, not. Mm. No, not all boxes! Do I need to go, wait, do I need to go to the photography lady before going to Area Zero or after? Like, what would be, what would be the better, better option here? There you are. Skeledurge, that's his name. I went before doing the story. I'm gonna go before doing the story. I also need to heal. I don't see a reason not to do the photo stuff before. Healings for cowards. <laughs> I actually think that Skeledurge is my weakest Pokemon now. Yep, it is. And the Dunsparce is my strongest. Wait, she is over here. Hey Plungo, don't tell me. You already got yourself 200 Pokemon from the Terrarium, impressive. It was nothing. Haha, <laughs> nothing was it? Alright, look at you, Pokemon Master. A little stinker. Probably know more about the Pokemon in the Terrarium than I do, and I got here first. I guess you've earned yourself that hot tip. Take a look at these photos, would you? Ooh! Ooh! See those strange Pokemon? The first one's called Gouging Fire, and the other one's Raging Bolt. Totally unknown Pokemon in totally unknown places. If they're real, it'll be a huge deal. Apparently, these uh, places are in Paldea. You have any idea where, Plungo? Yes. Are they famous spots? I want to visit them. Of course, you know how it is these days. These photos could totally be fake. If you want to know for sure, maybe you could go search out these Pokemon. I can show you the photos again anytime. Just give me a shout. And find me uh, something good, Plungo. I've got faith in your survey skills. Let me see those photos again. Okay, a waterfall near area zero. And another waterfall near area zero, okay. Okay, you know what, that was worth going there first. I don't know if I'm, if like, if it's gonna force me to like, to skip all of area zero, to like go, to like, you know, get to like the story stuff, but I do wanna see in the meantime doing all this stuff, if I can go go there uh, with the the troop and grab those two Pokemon, I'm assuming the, uh, the I mean like I'm assuming the future paradox Pokemon are Violet exclusive. Area zero, right? Come on, let's go. I want to get started. Are you ready to travel to Area Zero, Plungo? Yes. Splendid. We're ready. We're finally ready to set off then. Are you two feeling all right? Well enough to travel at least? Well, I'm, I'm fine anyway. Yeah, me too. 
I had time to calm down. Oh, well, that's good. I'm fine. I know what I have to do now. I'll find this legendary Pokemon in Area Zero. No matter what it takes. That's the spirit, Kieran! Ooh, Briar really missing the point of this one. Alright then, shall we? I can only imagine Gouging Fire has tusks. I want it to have tusks! We made it. I, I'm finally here. Area Zero, the place I've dreamed about for years. Whoa, this is incredible. Wowzers. Uh, so you've been here before, right, Plungo? Yeah, with my friends. You have other friends? Friends, huh? I gosh! You scared me! Honestly, you're too big to come popping out, uh... Like that, or what you madon? Ah, yeah? So you came here with Plungo back then too, huh? Oh, you must be that Pokemon that was reportedly first discovered in Area Zero. I'm very intrigued by the specimen, but alas, that's not what we're here for. We're here to go to the deepest depths of Area Zero. And see what's even deeper. Deeper down than the Zero Lab? Heath mentioned in his writings that he fell it from the depths to some place even deeper. Wait, hold on. Doesn't the depths imply he was as deep as he can get? Yes, it's quite curious, isn't it? However, Heath also wrote that he was utterly unable to recall how he got down there. If his writings are to be believed, there must be an entire uncharted space below Area Zero. Either way, we should start by making for the, the Zero Lab. You take the lead, Plungo. I wonder if it will... Okay, they're not with me, so I can just kind of explore to my heart's content around here. Oh, Slitherwing! I love you so much. So many good Paradox Pokemon. I think one of my shiny hunting targets I want is to... is uh, to grab a Sandy Shocks. Because, my god, I love our Mad Mags. There was one that was on a, on a waterfall that looked high up, so it's possible it could be up there. Shoot, did... Wait, yeah, it, it, one of them is up there. I rem, uh, because I remember in the photo, uh, you could see one of the satellites. Man, the strangest thing about the, uh, about the DLC is the lack of Paldean Pokemon. Because you come here, and it's like I see, like, you know, like, Pawmot, or, like, Several other Pokemon, you know? Like, they got Girafferig and Farigaraf, which is a Paldean Pokemon, but like, it's still like, it's still so many older Pokemon as opposed to like, what, we, what we've seen already. From the base game. So coming back here, it's almost like rediscovering those old, those, those brand, those, uh, those newer Pokemon all over again. I don't think this is the area, but I see a TM. Fly. I think it might be that one. Several waterfalls with... The satellites next to them. There it is! Oh my god! I don't know what happens if I screw this up, but I'm gonna save just in case. You know, I'm kind of- Whoa! I'm really glad they showed Raging Bolt in the trailer instead of this. This is awesome! Question is, can I catch it? I can. 
Level 75 for Gouging Fire. Dang. I figured that'd be... Burning Bulwark. Uh, Shadow Ball. Oh god, you got a crit. As long as it doesn't have any moves that cause recoil damage, I should be good. I throw Ultra Balls at it until Timer Balls make more sense. There we go! Gouging Fire was caught. Fire Dragon of Gouging Fire. Scan few reports of this creature being sighted. One short video shows it rampaging and spouting pillars of flame. They finally added actual Pokedex entries for these things! Oh man, Gouging Fire. There's a lot to throw at this one. Oh, let's see. Our magma. If I were to name this Pokemon, it'd be our magma. Armor and magma. A waterfall with a rainbow above the cloud line. We got ours right here. Oh yeah, I didn't get a chance to see what Burning Bulwark is. I'm assuming it's Protect, but if anybody makes contact with it, they get burned. Oh, there's the waterfall with the rainbow. Got it in one. Name's kind of on the tin. If it actually, like, attacked and did damage, I would have a harder time guessing, but the fact that it failed made me think that it was Protect. Shoot, that's too high up, though. Unless it is down here. No, that would be... Hmm. How many other waterfalls have rainbows on them? And are there any further down? No, past here is the cave system. Oops. Oh, sorry, Masquerade. I feel like raging whatever it was called. Maybe it's on the other side? The rainbow is in the background, but it wasn't clear how close it was. The angle of the photo made it look like it would have been taken from, like, this angle. No, but that rainbow's still really high up, comparatively. There's only one waterfall with a rainbow, as far as I can tell. I got it. 
Spot on. Is someone down there? I can't- I can't see! Hello? Uh, I'm gonna start using Iron Head on it. I didn't quick ball! What's somewhat terrifying about this is that that means there's still Pokemon coming out of, like, coming from the past, despite the fact that we've thunderclad. Oh, that's doing like no damage. I'm gonna go for a body to press and hope to God it doesn't kill. 80 power using the defense stat. Hang on a second. Uh, it's attack and defense are comparable. I think I can get I can get away with using body press and not killing it. Oh, I could definitely get away with using body press and not killing it. Good lord. I severely overestimated my abilities. Dragon hammer. Those are two new uh, moves I haven't seen yet. How many different hammer moves are there? Wood hammer, hammer arm, dragon hammer, ice hammer. Every type is gonna get a hammer move. Psychic hammer. I love the smug Pokeball throw, it's so good. Crab hammer. Rising Voltage does more damage if it's on, uh... If it's on electric terrain, correct? Either it does more damage or it has an extra effect. Actually... Well, first off, I'm gonna use high Iron Head one more time if I can survive. Which I think I will? Yes. Put in the red. And then I'm gonna switch to Vocalvin because this thing has three electric type moves. <laughs> Look at him looking up. Hello from up there. Hey. Oh, he's- wait, what am I saying? Why did I think he had another electric type move? He's got two dragon moves and two electric moves. Alright, got the legendary beast as Paradox Pokemon. A raptor, a Brachiosaurus, and whatever the hell gouging flame is. I was so bent on giving gouging gouging fire a, a um a a good name. And the first thing I thought of, god damn it. <laughs> Why am I naming him Italian, you may ask? Because here in Texas, there is a, I don't know if it's anywhere else, but here in Texas, there's a, uh, there's a, <laughs> there's a sandwich shop called Thundercloud Subs. And Italian was the first sandwich I could think of. How close am I to? 
three more? Interesting. All right, down to the bottom of area zero. Are the uh, the Swords of Justice Paradox Pokemon Violet exclusive? I would imagine yes, because they are their future Paradox Pokemon instead of past Paradox Pokemon. Try saying that five times fast. Past Paradox Pokemon, past Paradox Pokemon, past Paradox Pokemon. Perfect. The perfect TM. Are you able to catch another copy of Walking Wake? Iron Leaves you can get in both. Well, that's because uh, the, well, the, uh, the raids were exclusive to, uh, to Violet. Whoa, this place is insane. It reminds me of the Crystal Pool. This is the Zero Lab, I take it? The structure's exterior matches Gita's description, at least. So this is the deepest point in Area Zero. Nope. Well, yes and no. This is the deepest point that Area Zero Expedition managed to reach long ago. You know, I've been told that the lowest level of this laboratory contains a mysterious room whose purpose is entirely unknown. However, where I want to go is even deeper than that. So you're saying we should head to, uh, inside the Zero Lab? Gate's closed, though. Huh? Oh, you're right! What do we do now, Plungo? You've been here before. We gotta disable the lock. Wowzers. This feels like a spy movie or something. Way cool! That's right, boys. Mondo cool. What? I didn't say anything. Well then, can we count on you to unlock the gate, Plungo? Uh-huh. <laughs> Open the gate to the Zero Lab? Yes. Access revoked due to prolonged activity. Entrance locked. What's the matter? S something wrong with it? It opened uh, before, though, right? Is there some extra step we're missing? And the professor was in the lab, and... I see. So the last time we went through a series of steps to unlock a gate, and the professor was also there to guide you from inside. Beep boop! Indigo disc detected. Indigo disc detected. Huh? It's talking! Insert indigo, indigo disc for greater access privileges. Please insert indigo disc. Relax, just one of those computerized voices. Not any different from a TM machine. Indigo disc, what could it mean by that? Oh yeah, by the way. Oh, Gita gave you a mysterious item before we departed, did she? You think that's it? Oh, how fun, go on Plum, go do it. You have my permission. Please insert indigo disc. Indigo disc. That's a pun. Indigo disc confirmed. Zero lab elevator redirected to area zero under depths. Rumble, rumble. I don't know what it is, but something about the lower frame rate of the door is very charming for like a mechanical door. Look at that, it opened. Let's head on in. Would you like to run the installation wizard? Would you also like to install McAfee, uh, would you also like to install McAfee antivirus? Hmm. <laughs> Sweet, 100 free hours of AOL! Various research documents are scattered on the desk. It's 
It's way too dark in here. I just smacked my head on something. That's because you're running around without any idea where you're going. Wow, Kiki. Sounds like someone's finally breaking out of their funk, hmm? Shut it. Where's Miss Briar, anyway? She's busy rummaging through, like, a whole stack of documents over there. I thought someone's private photos and stuff. We probably shouldn't be looking at all that. Huh, you're awfully considerate all of a sudden. Miss Briar, look, an elevator. Maybe you could take us down further. You wanted to go down, right? Down, you say? Yeah, down. Oh my, did you use this elevator last time to reach the mysterious room I mentioned earlier? I think so. Oh, did you already forget what happened last time you were here? I need to play coy so she doesn't find out about the time machine. Perhaps this is a side effect of prolonged exposure to Area Zero. Well, we've no time to waste. Let's go down. It's a lot brighter in here than it was the last time I was down here. Strange rock-like clump in, uh, inside the machine. I thought that was like a, I thought that was like a, uh, uh, like a mark on the wall or something that I could read that like is, is hidden in here. From what I'm hearing, you've already been on more adventures than I can count. No wonder you're so level-headed all the time. Come now, let's make our way down. It wasn't a white void last time. I could feel my ears popping. Oh, wonderful. This elevator just keeps going further and further down. That's what elevators do. You know, it's moving pretty fast, actually. It almost feels like I'm floating. Hey, everyone. That panel we used to unlock the gate. Didn't it say something about where the elevator goes? Now that you mention it, yeah, it said something about an elevator being redirected, right? As far as I know, there's only one elevator inside Lab Zero. So that panel must have been referring to the elevator we're currently inside. So, where exactly is this thing taking us? <laughs> where indeed? She's ambitious at the very least. Didn't she also say she was a descendant of like someone who was on like the original Area Zero expedition team? Oh my. Oh my goodness! So what, are we under Area Zero or something? Yes, according to my data, our current position is far deeper than where we last were. The elevator could have taken us even further down than its previous destination? Man, Area Zero was already a lot to take in. I don't think anything's gonna surprise me at this point, no matter what we run into. <laughs> hey. Let's solve this stuff. Oh! What are desks doing down here? Oh my. Oh my, this is... This is a report by the esteemed Professor Sada. A massive cavern exists beneath Area Zero, and there slumbers Terapagos, uh, the hidden treasure of Area Zero. Its body has become crystal protected from hostile outsiders. It appears that rousing it will take some time. This cavern, I have witnessed the terrestrial phenomenon occurring in ways I've never seen above ground. Terrestrialization that appears to hold the power of every known type. I have dubbed this terror type the stellar type for now. Could Terapagos influence be a play? Terapagos is the hidden treasure of Area Zero, and it's slumbering in some form of a crystal. And what is this about a stellar terror type? Brilliant, absolutely marvelous, to think there was so much that Heath didn't write about. These documents are a veritable treasure trove, and we've only just begun our expedition. I don't know how she can get so excited in a bizarre pl place like this. The legendary Pokemon Terapagos, that's the hidden treasure of Area Zero. Come on, let's hurry and go further in. I still haven't gotten my fill of these documents, but okay, let's go. It would be best to discover the truth with our own eyes after all. 
Let's keep moving. Stay on guard, everyone. Ooh, I'm getting, I'm getting chills. I can call Karide on here. Uh oh. Okay, so there's no exploring like the lower parts. But how far further down does it go? One can only surmise. What? What is this? It's like the crystal's trying to be a flower. It completely blocked the path. Yeah, we're not going to get any further with this in the way. Hey, what about Wachimadon? The Pokemon you could ride on? Couldn't it smash through it? I'm not so sure. Hold on, hold on, please hold on! It's quite likely a manifestation of pure terrestrial energy. We have no idea what might happen if we try to destroy it with brute force. Okay, so what do we do then? Hmm. Hmm? There are Pokemon all the way down here? And what's going on with this one? It seems to be charged with some kind of strange energy. Hey, get back! I know you're in no good uh, you're no good in the battle, Miss Briar. Kiki, no, Plungo, you should handle this. Mora! The question is What Terra type are we looking at here? There it is! The Stellar Terra type! What on earth is that energy? It, it couldn't be! Glad I chose Clodsire to go in with. Still super effective. <gasps> from what I'm gathering, from what I'm gathering, and man, what a kick in the face to Greninja and uh, and Score Bunny. <laughs> This thing changes your type into whatever attack you're using. It is the it's the Terra type is the Protean ability. Good work, Plungo. Whoa, it disappeared. Did knocking out the sparkling Pokemon make the crystal flower disappear? It's just like in that report we found earlier. What we just witnessed was a Pokemon wielding the power of each and every type. That must that means it must have had the Stellar Terra type. Uh, so what's all that mean? Wait, was that supposed to be the so-called hidden treasure we're looking for? I can't say for certain, but no, I don't think so. The professor's note said the hidden treasure of Area Zero is slumbering in a crystal form. The Glamora you fought off doesn't fully fit the description, so I don't think it's the Pokemon the professor called Terrapagos. The only way to know what was hidden, uh, what, if it was the hidden treasure or not, is to keep going. Come on. I still think they should have made, uh, I told, I told, remember that dream I told you guys about, about what the DLC would have been about? Ooh, a stellar Terra shard. Interesting. I had a dream that the DLC for Carbink. Wait a minute. I don't think I can get Carbink anywhere, could I? Do I have one? Yes, I do. The dream was that uh, they, essentially what they were gonna do was pull something similar to uh, the, what the hell am I thinking of? They were gonna pull something similar to uh, Zygarde in Sun Moon, where, you would find Missingno, which was like, which was the first Pokemon to be brought into our time by the, uh, the time machine. And, uh, it was essentially useless in battle. Um, 
all of its moves, stats, and uh, all of its moves and stats to be randomized, and you wouldn't know what the moves were until you used them. Uh, and you'd gather up um, uh, pieces of miss of missing no, and once you collected them all, they would they would turn into the uh, the um, the disc Pokemon, which we now know as Terrapagos. This is before Terrapagos was uh, was um, invented. Uh, invented. This is before before Terrapagos was revealed, though. Kitakami F. Carbink, okay. Can't get away. Alright, I was gonna say, please don't make a fuss, because I can see what I need to defeat. It's up here. It is a Noivern. I'm gonna put Owo out front since I'll be able to hit it with a uh, ice spinner. Welcome, child. You die! You must answer me these riddles three. The Dunsparce is the true treasure of Area Zero. All we can do is wait and see what, uh, what, um, how this affects competitive play. Boom Burst, a normal type move. That was super effective. Okay, so it keeps us typing then. <laughs> Riddle one, ham. It keeps its typing, but makes every single type of move it has a stab. Neuvern's German name is Uhafnir. Ultra, oh, UHF, ultra high frequency. Good job, Plungo! The crystal thing's gone! The friends are the angry child whose ogre girlfriend we stole along the way. That Pokemon's called Coridon, right? Boy, it can really jump! We roll- we're on a roll, let's keep moving! You're almost there, it has one downside, it only gives a uh, stab once per type. Interesting, another ca another, um, another area we can go into here. I climbed up here because I didn't see the, t the Terra Pokemon. But there appears to be an offshoot cave over here. Holy jeebus. There's a lot happening right now. This is a lot to take in. All of the map is functionally useless here. Ooh, a Sandy Shocks! Uh, Claude's Eye to the rescue yet again? It's Electric and Ground. Uh, oh well, wouldn't be a bad choice. Electric and Ground. Claude's Eye's got Earthquake. Emmett Selk might be suicide, but I'm willing to give it a shot. This is one of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite Paradox Pokemon. I love Sandy Shocks.
I just oh my god, I just realized what the what like the crown thing is. Also, is that spinning part of That's not part of the uh the There's like a little Terrapagos in there first off. The spinning is part of Sandy Shocks' animation, right? Dude, does it do that when it uh, every time it terras? Because that's really cool if it does. Oh, I got Vocal. Oh my God, I got the reliable, reliable partner, Mark. Vocalvin is a reliable partner. I was afraid of this. Fortune, Jesus Christ! Oh yeah, it's the ferroth fluid going up and down the screw. Uh, the controller needs to be upside down when you level it up. It took me several tries to get it right. This is gonna hurt. Jet the punch! Now, is that going to unlock where we need to go, or is it going to unlock that that one crystal up at the top of the uh, up at the up at the top of the cliff there? Okay. What a read by Sandy Shocks. Not bad for a wild Pokemon, right? Hey, Plungo, the path opened up. Terra shards. They made the shards a lot easier to get. <laughs> There's got to be people in the competitive scene that are like, man, why do I have to play through this <laughs> this dumbass story in order to get a competitively viable mechanic? Sorry, we have you doing all the work. We really appreciate it, Plungo. It appears the terrestrial energy uh, around us is growing more dense the farther we go down. Come on, we have no time to lose. Sinistia's Fatality, Snorlax's... I like Relaxo as, a, as an alternate name. I did complete the Kitakami decks, yes. This one's gonna be a little bit trickier to complete. Because I also want to get a Living Dex, which means... Which means I, I'd, I'd either have to buy the DLC myself or ask somebody to, to give up their, um... Their Swords of Justice. If you didn't have Walking Wake... Uh, from the raid, would you have the opportunity to catch it, um, Walking Wake or, uh, or Verizon Wireless? Uh, would you have the opportunity to catch it from this DLC? The Walking Wake is just gone, huh? Marvelous, the terrestrial energy is possibly f overflowing. This prayer can be so reckless sometimes. I feel like I always have to keep an eye on her. Do I bring back the raids again? It's kind of surprising that you can't catch, uh... Like, that's a really limiting way to, like, to release Pokémon. Garganical. Whoa. 
So, but if I ran into it, something would fall out. The crystal tree. Oh, I forgot to put my Garganical in. Kind of reminds me of the, the, the Sophronia trees from uh, Xenoblade, except, you know, not orange. Yeah, Iron Leaves and Walking Wake are in the, uh, the Blueberry decks. I'm sending in my own Garganical. Oh, this is gonna hurt. That didn't hurt as much as I thought it would. Uh, iron defense. Arm and hammer! Ha! Earthquake did more, you ding dong! If this guy gets a crit, I'm screwed. I like how it shoulder charges into an earthquake. Body press! Ouch. Why would you do that? I'm a structure from the hit video game Minecraft. Ah. Alligator leveled up. Wait, did mm, did beating the uh, the Sandy Shocks unlock the other path as well, or is that like is is it gonna be like Skyrim where it like loops around? Maybe she'd rather you do it. Quit your babbling, just do it. Uh. Hey, the path opened up, we can keep going! No and no, okay, good. I was afraid I missed something. You guys missed an incredible tree. That was a good tree and I got some salt for our, for our, uh, for the, uh, our meat. We're gonna need uh, meat uh, cured uh, cured meats going further in. A story! Thank you for the raid. Raiding from the apple orchard. Thank you. Well, Kiki, isn't there something you wanted to say to Plungo? No, not really. Just feels like we're all relying a bit too much on her. Is all. We should keep going. Thank you for the raid, Apple. I'm live at this god-awful hour in Texas time. God, so stubborn. Although I can't imagine what time it is for you. Yeah, because you're like forward in time for me. It's got to be like nine in the morning for you. How long have you been streaming for? <laughs> you two are always simply dazzling as always. Just so you know, we were always fending off wild Pokemon while you were away. So me and my team are just about spent. Welcome to what World of Warcraft does to a person. You know what? Sin is just all you've got left, so if something happens, you better save me. Let's get them countermeasures going while we're here. You get to see the cursed shit. You get to see this horrifying 3D head of myself that I only have the one picture of. Or of my logo, rather. And then you know what? If it doesn't, like, take too long, you're just gonna- WHAT HAVE YOU DONE?! What have you done indeed? Hello everybody, my name is Tom Fox. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch playing some Pokemon. Uh, I'm like at the end game of uh, Pokemon Scarlet Indigo Disc DLC. How long have I been live for? I've been live for five hours now. My Terra Orb, I think it's reacting to something. Oh, you're right, mine is too. I'm picking up a truly astounding level of terrestrial energy. Seems to be coming from in there. Hope you have a great stream. Thank you! Go get some sleep! 
Are we finally at the finish line? The hidden treasure. Hey, where do you think you're going? I can't wait another second. The truth behind the Scarlet Book is so close now. What? No, not you two. Bingo! Those two sometimes, I swear. Uh, Jaws 2308, think of the six months of Prime. Just say the same thing? We should head in two, but no rushing. At least we could show some composure. <laughs> I was hoping the floor would be made of glass too, but. Dang, dang, dang. How's my party looking? Not great. Let's do some auto healing. I'm putting the crocodile out first. Hey, bud. <laughs> the floors are made of black. Bingo! Hey, Jaws, thank you for gifting five uh, tier one subs. What is this place? The vibes here are on a totally different level. The hidden treasure. Where is it? There, Kieran, up ahead. There's something among those pillars. The stone's the hidden, the stone's the hidden treasure? Give me a moment, I just need to check something. If I can get the hidden treasure of Area Zero, I, I can finally beat Plungo! Kiki, you're still on about that nonsense? Shut it, sis! Plungo has everything I've ever wanted! She's got strong Pokemon, she can go anywhere she wants, she can be friends with anyone! I loved Ogre Pond since forever ago, but even Ogre Pond chose her over me! But Kiki, you did your best too! Even you, sis! You were always, you were all nasty toward her at first, but then boom, you were like best friends in no time! I, well, I've got nothing! I've worked so hard and for what? I still lost in the end! This, this is all I have left now! Found it, the crystal is definitely not what we're looking for. Go on, Karen, pull with everything you got. Show us the hidden treasure of Area Zero. Pre-render cutscene? Sorry to pre-rendered. Still gotta uh, render my character as well. There it is. There's no doubting it. This crystal must be Terrapagos. Yeah, insert Nintendo Capri sunscreen here. And of course, it imprints on me. No! <sighs> You're mine! <laughs> that was Terrapagos. You caught it, right? Finally. Very well done, Kieran. The fact that you brought along a Master Ball tells me you were prepared for this. Now I can study Terrapagos whatever I want, but there's no time like the present. Think you can give us a little demonstration of Terrapagos' power right now? Well, you heard her, Plungo. I'm also itching to see what Terrapagos can do. Get ready so we can start. Are, are you sure it's safe to battle with a Pokemon you barely know anything about? Oh, I can hardly contain myself. I simply must see Terrapagos' power right away. Are you ready? All right. Get in position. Try using- Oh, I didn't bring Ogre Pawn! What does he say if I- if I, uh, bring out Ogre Pawn? 
I hope you've braced yourself. This time, I'll definitely beat you, Plungo. Challenged by Pokemon trainer Kieran. Go, Terrapagos! Show Plungo what you're made of! Ter the opposing Terrapagos transformed. So this is the hidden treasure's true form? With this I can win for sure! Son of a bitch! Go distorting the type matchups. It's not very effective, and from what I can tell, it's never going to be very effective. This thing keeps using Earth Power. I gotta switch to. I've got. I, the only thing I have that resists is Grigba Flank. Uh. Whatever it is now, it resists. Affects the type matchups. Whatever it is now resists fire. Unless it just made it so normal type Pokemon can resist fire. I'm gonna be thinking too too hard about this. Either way, I'll I'll do an axe kick. Super effective. Huh? It has a weakness! I thought this was a hidden treasure of Area Zero! Terrapagos' power should be far greater than this. Could it be we are missing something? If it killed itself that way, I was gonna laugh. Finish it with Leech Life. I just had Terrapagos. If I had the hidden treasure of Area Zero, it it would make me stronger. That was truly cringeworthy. <laughs> Seven seventeen bits from Misfit AF saying, "Oh, Kieran, I thought it let me be Plungo." Uh. Oh, that was the extra from Twitch. Kiki, that's enough. It's time to stop this. No, something's not right. The terrestrial energy output is far too low. Not to mention the fact that it looks different from the illustration in the Scarlet Book. So Terrapagos isn't the hidden treasure of Area Zero? No, I'm sure it is. We must be missing something. A way to transform it into the treasure. Of course. Terrapagos is made of terrestrial energy. Kieran, you must terrestrialize Terrapagos this instant. If my hunch is correct, Terrapagos will resonate with the energy from your Terra Orb. And the hidden treasure will finally reveal its true brilliance. Got it. I wonder if they're gonna give me time to prepare. The way we're standing right now makes me th think that we're gonna be doing a raid battle. I knew it! The Scarlet Book was right! Terrapagos in its fully awakened form! This is the hidden treasure of Area Zero! I thought it would lose control. 
Oh, there we go. Things are gonna get a hand, Kiki! You should return to Rapagos to its ball! Uh, okay! Come back to Rapagos! I will not. Huh? It won't come back inside! Why? energy output is going hay haywire. We're all in serious danger if we can't control it. I'm sorry, kids, but please, you need to stop Terrapagos. Come on, Kiki, you need to do something. We've got Terrapagos under control. We've got to get Terrapagos under control. No, this wasn't supposed to happen. This is all my fault. Oh, thank you for the hospitality, Sinistra. I'm gonna start with Torch Song. Uh. Happy for that. 300 bits from Extreme Game DNA saying New Ninja Turtle confirmed? It resists Earth Power, but. Hi, bud. It's using a berry to reduce damage. In that case, terrestrializing your Pokemon might help. I'm actually gonna switch into Grig, but well, it's kind of weak right now. I'll switch in. Mm, I'm gonna keep using Axe Kick. Well, unless this is a scripted boss fight like the final boss of the base game. Terra Star Storm. I think I'm in trouble. I just, yeah, I, we just got PK Star Stormed. Come get me, bitch. Okay, it is weak to that. <clears throat> that gives me an idea then. Oh, Morton Antivirus. There's your chance. Use Terrasalize Pokemon to strike back. Whoop, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to Terrasalize and go into Iron Defense. Does all that matters when you're taking out a shielded Pokemon like this is that your Pokemon is terrestrialized? Not that it's using a terra uh, move of the same Terra type, is it? The Parthenon. Confusion? Nope. All right, just you and me, kid. No, my sister got knocked out. This isn't good. It's just too strong. Well, because I want to use body press, which is going to deal more damage. Snapped out of confusion. Earth power? Nope. Terra Star Storm. Probably of whatever. Oh, no. What it does that is changing what type it's doing. Well, so much for that. I'm gonna go ahead and heal and hope it doesn't use Terra Star Storm again. It did change type again. 
Nope, it's still super effective. I can't get a hit in if if uh, if it keeps doing this. Oh wait, I got an idea. Watch it turn out to be one of those moves that's not affected by stat changes. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Hanging on by a thread here. Tropicals absorb terrestrial energy. Oh, there goes that. <clears throat> what? It absorbed terrestrial energy? Don't tell me it gets another. Tropicals use the power of the terrestrial phenomenon to change its type. Put up another barrier of such strength. Did it use terrestrial energy and absorb to do so? You need to get in there and battle, Kiki. Plungo is doing all the work. It's no good. I'm useless. Uh, rock type, right? Oh, that's gonna hurt. Probably not as bad as that Terra move, though. Oh, it killed me. Time for a test. If this hit is super effective, then that means it changed to a rock type. Nope. I figured it would have changed to the type of the uh, of the uh, the terrest whatever terrestrial energy it had. But miss missed it. Good, good. Now, Plungo, terrestrialize your Pokemon so it shines once more. Oh wait, because I'm down here, I can probably just terrestrialize whatever the hell I want to. I don't gotta worry about my orb not recharging. Or not be being out of charge. <clears throat> Normality! Time to roost! Score. The Dunsparce's longevity is gonna win the day. Broke its stance. Absorb the terrestrial energy. Oh, oh. Absorb the terrestrial energy yet again? Surely it can't be keep doing that over and over again, though. Kiki, Plungo's in trouble. You need to help her. Hi, bud. Almost done. Uh, but I can't help anyone. Let's do it together. Come here, bud. Okay. 
Hydrapple! Lord of Aceness. Oh, and it's gonna use Dragon Cheer. Oh, maybe it is based on the background. Yeah, because it changed to blue, so it's either water or ice. Okay, I'll help out too. If it changed to ice, then that that this hydrapple's not gonna last long. Honestly, better late than never, I guess. Oh, I see. I need to use more attack. All right, that's how it works. Makes sense. I'm gonna coil. Dragon Cheer? Syrup Bomb. All right, uh, Body Slam. Yeah, I'm faster than it now. I'm getting really lucky on the Paralyses, although I do have Serene Grace on this thing, so it makes sense. Now I can Terra and continue to bu Yeah! More likely critical hits! I wish I had a dragon type! Oof. Oof. We're going at this once again. Oh, Syrup Bomb is super effective, okay. So it is water. Under the bridge. You're going to absorb my terrestrial energy yet again? Oh no, I can't! It's like, what the fuck? It looks like it can't absorb any more energy or put it up another barrier. Time to attack. Time to end this, you two. You have my permission to go all out. Win the day, the Dunsparce. <laughs> what if it just fucking exploded? Maybe it'll go inside a ball now. I know I can count on you, Plungo. You got this! What am I putting you in? Ooh. A beast ball? Yeah, I'm going Beast Ball. Terrapagos was caught. Is, is it over? Is everyone okay? Yep, how about you? I'm fine, thank you, perfectly unharmed. I let my obsession lead you all in a into a very dangerous situation. It's simply inexcusable. I'm so sorry, everyone. You should be. You're completely fixated on this terrestrial stuff. You've got to keep your obsessiveness in check. Yes, you're absolutely right. 
I... I messed up too. I looked up to Plungo for so long. I wanted to be like her so, so badly. I didn't know what else to do. I guess I just don't have it in, in me to be like her after all. Finally. Finally, I can let it go. Don't tell yourself short. But... I... I just... <laughs> I swear I've got such a silly younger brother. You finally... My computer crashed. We are live again because I gotta finish this up. Look, I know I caused a lot of trouble for the League Club and everyone. I don't even know what I missed here because of the crash. I wanted to give everybody a proper apology. Including you, Plungo. So, uh, I'm sorry. And, uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is... I want to make things right. So do you think... We can start over from zero and be friends again! No. I hate you. Hey! We're gonna leave you two behind if you don't hurry up! Too good, thank you. Oh! Oh god! The treasure of Area Zero. Look at all that Kitakami stuff. We're almost done, bud. I got the three, uh... What are they called? The three beasties there. And Diplin. Apple Farms and whatnot. They were supposed to be like the sacred beasts. And then uh, they ended up, it turns out, oh, they were the bad guys. And look at the ogre. They're like, oh, we gotta get this ogre out of here. And I'm like, Arr! oh no. Fried noodles? Water balloons. The, th the three of the four different masks. The loyal three, AKA the lousy three. Ah. Apparently made ogre ousted easier in this update too. Well, that's good. Get yourself that shiny munchlax. Would anyone be willing to do like a quick trade for the, um, for the Swords of Justice Paradox Pokemon in exchange for the, uh, the, um, uh, Legendary Beast Paradox Pokemon? Just like a real quick back and forth for the Pokedex entries. Oh, it's those, uh, the dolls that we saw in, uh, in Carmine's room. Yeah, our magma and, uh, Italian. I'll do what I did last time, for, uh, time first come, first serve. So am I only missing two Pokemon then? Oh, that's going to be interesting, because I haven't even seen, uh, Terrakions. I want to see, I want to see its name and its appearance for myself, uh, and in the trade. Also, thank you so much, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm a little shocked that so many of you stuck around. Uh, with my crash and everything. There are more story things left to do, oh my goodness. Oh yeah, I also have to show, uh, I also have to show, um, Perrin the, uh, the, uh... I also show Perrin the, uh, the, the Pokemon. Save it for another stream. How much of it is there left? Huh. 
<laughs> Iron Rock! I got the Entei and Raikou Paradox Pokemon. Less than 10 minutes, maybe 520. That's fine. I'll do it. Rinse and repeat. They're teaching us how to wash our hair in this song, by the way. Rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat. You cannot skip these credits. You know what? No, I I, I shouldn't say that because you gotta pay respects to the people who uh who made uh who made the, the games that you like. <clears throat> Original song by Ed Sheeran. Is this the same song that played at the end of the base game, or is this a new song? A remix by Toby Fox. Ah. Nineteen ninety five to twenty twenty three. We're coming up on the thirtieth anniversary of Pokemon in two years. The hidden treasure of Area Zero. Gall's pictures. Honestly, I like him better with his hair down. Yo, they got ding dongs. We're almost done, buddy. I'm sorry. Why am I waking up here? The exchange program is over. Get the hell out. A body has been discovered. This is an announcement for the following student. Plungo from Naranja Academy. Miss Briar would like to see you in class 1-4. She has some important news to share with you regarding the terrestrial phenomenon. That is all. I tried to go into the bathroom. Oh my god, there's more there's more stuff. Oh god. Okay, you know what we'll do we'll do a couple here. Here and there, up and down and all around. It's fine, it's fine. Hey Plungo, glad to see you. You feel rested and recovered after a big adventure in the underdepths? Yes. Oh, youth really is an invaluable thing. Enviable thing, excuse me. Still feeling all wrung out despite having been back for a while now. But oh, why I called you here. Since I returned, I've been writing up everything since we uh, we discovered on our expedition. Honestly, I've hardly slept. I obtained Gita's permission to turn it all into a book, but don't worry. I've made sure to skip a lot of a few details and omit the, the names of those involved. So voila, proof copy of the book, freshly delivered from my publisher, just to you. Copy of Briar's book. Pro uh, proof copy of the exploration notes in Area Zero is filled with long paragraphs describing what happened, along with Briar's thoughts. I behave recklessly in the underdepths. I don't know what we would have done if it weren't for you. You truly deserve a copy of this book, and I just hope it's a sufficient apology. Ah, but there's something else I needed to check with you. Would you mind showing your terror orb to me, Plungo? Hmm, I thought as much. It's behaving just like Kieran and Carmine's terror orbs. I think it might be because your orbs were directly exposed to the energy from Terrapagos. Kieran and Carmine say ever since the underdepths, they've been able to terrestrialize their Pokemon without charging their terror orbs. Actually, there's one more piece of news I should share with you related to the, those deepest depths. You know the terrarium core that hangs from the ceiling in the terrarium? Well, until now, I've been keeping it topped off with a mixture of Paldean soil and water from the crystal pool in Kitakami. That's how I've been able to stabilize the terrestrial phenomenon in our academy's grounds. But the other day, I tried adding crystals I collected from the underdepths of that mix, and it caused the properties of the core to change. The result, Pokemon shining in rainbow colors, has started appearing all over the terrarium. And they all have the stellar terror type poke, uh, terror type. Thanks to my research of the terrestrial phenomena is shining brighter than ever. Stellar terrestrialization grants a boost to moves, but only once per move. If you use a move, no other moves of that same type will get a boost. In terror raid battles, all moves will be boosted without limit. Oh, there's one last thing. A man in a blue suit was looking for you over by the entrance of the academy. That's all I have to report for now. Thanks for setting some time aside. Bye. I'm off to pay my publisher a business, so I'll, uh, business, I'll leave it to you. Next time we meet, I'll ask you for a good long look at Terrapagos. Till then. Did I feed the indigo disc into my computer? Yes. 
Speaking of, I'm gonna add Terrapagos to my party. Oh, well, you've done enough for us uh, so far. I wanna get a good look at it as well. Level 85. Terra type is stellar. Normal type normally. Terra Star Storm! Uh, with the power of its crystals, the user bombards uh, and eliminates the target. Oh, wow. When used by Terrapagos in its stellar form, uh, this move damages all opposing Pokemon. Zen Headbutt, Earth Power, Water Pulse. This Pokemon enters a battle, absorbs the energy from around itself, and transforms into its Terrastal form. Well, it does more than that, doesn't it? Son of a biscuit. Okay. Well, there's other things I need to do. I need to go to class 3-2 to speak to, uh, to speak to... I forgot her name. Amorous? Plungo. Plungo. You have my thanks for all you have done to help the League Club and to help Kieran. Once he became champion, Kieran withdrew himself entirely from our ranking system. Though I consider this somewhat sad, it is not as if he can uh, he and I can no longer meet. More than anything, I'm glad he seems to be acting like his former self once more. Indeed, I have been swept up in joy to such an extent that I prepared a tremendous amount of flight-enabled uh, flight supplements used in my trial. Please feed your Agias an appropriate portion whenever you wish to fly. Child of Ham, feed me more supplements! HAM SUPPLEMENTS! What? Do you want to fly right now? Please, slow down. The supplement was never meant to be eaten in such a large... Ah, yeah! Child of Ham! Crydon will be able to fly now! It would seem your Agias has powered up somehow. From the looks of it, I would guess that it has gained the power to fly whenever it wishes to. Well, I suppose this is an acceptable outcome. So that's why they got rid of that that fast flying glitch. As it happens, there's a super hard course for my flying time trial. You may attempt it upon clearing the hard course. Feel free to do so when you're ready. Time for me to go. So long then. What does uh what does clearing the flying courses unlock, if anything? League Club. BP. Swell. Oh, this guy again! Oh! There you are, Plungo! Just the person I was looking for! I heard the news! You're the new BB League champion, am I right? I'll admit I'm blown away! Inviting you to this academy was the best decision I've, recent I've made recently! So now you've had some time to get comfortable here. How do you find Blueberry Academy? You having fun here? I love it here. Good, good, just what I like to hear. Anyway, there's a small favor I'd like to ask of you, Plungo. You see, the whole Academy's become so much more lively and energetic since you came here. It got me thinking, maybe we should have even more people come visit from Paldea. Have them come as special coaches or something. You know a lot of people, right? You've got lots of friends and everything. I mean, like teachers from your school, gym leaders, that sort of thing. Oh, and any strong friends of yours are also welcome here. Leave it to me. Spoken like a true champion. I knew you were the right person to ask. Hi, bud. You need to go outside. Use the club room computer to contact anyone you want to invite. Oh, but it'll cost BP. We'll need to pay for that trip and such, so here's something to get you started. A little bit of extra BP there. I think I'll arrange for the special coaches to stay in this club room when they're not teaching. You should have a chat with them while they're here. Now then, I'll leave you to it. Enjoy. Using the PC in the League Club Room, you can invite your friends and acquaintances from the Paldea region to visit Blueberry Academy. Special coaches you can talk and battle with. You have a max of two visitors at a time. Actually, you know what? I will I will invite some people here. Uh, call a special coach. We're not gonna battle him, but I- Ooh, I don't have all of them! 
I just have the gym leaders for now. Hi, bud. Oh, buddy. I'm almost done, bud. I swear. Hello. I'm here on behalf of the Paldea Regents Pokemon League. It's a pleasure to be doing business with you. I didn't invite Larry. What's the matter, Bug? Um, and Iono. I like Iono. We need a Twitch streamer. We need a VTuber in here. Your eyeballs are mine. Caught in my electroweb. Come here. Come here, manatee. Who's the what's it? I don't know. Hello, hello, hola. Ciao and bonjour. Come here. I need to take a quick break because I've got a fussy puppy. I'm not going to run ads, though. I'm just going to pause it. Okay. He's outside doing his business. Yo, Larry! How come you don't face the camera in your gym leader pick? I prefer to keep a low profile. If people knew my face, I'd run into drawing crowds. That'd make it hard to get into restaurants, or worse, I can get banned for causing a disturbance in one. Huh? Hold up, back up! You don't want people to recognize you? Wait, that's not even the bonkeriest part! How'd you get the okay to do yours different? Everyone else has a regular pick! Oh. That's just a matter of knowing who to talk to. It comes with experience, I suppose. Dang, you're adulting like a pro, Larry. All right, okay. Someone in a blue suit at the entrance. Is it Colrus? <clears throat> no, Colrus wore white. Didn't they say there was someone? Didn't they say there was someone waiting for me at the entrance? Where'd they say they were waiting for me? Hey there! Oh, hey there, Blungo. What brings you back up here? Just wanted to chat. To chat with me? Well, well, aren't I the popular one? And by the by, how's that blueberry Pokedex yours coming along? Come show me once you filled it in a bit. Definitely come show me if you complete it. I'll be sure to shower you with praise. Is that who wanted to talk to me? Oh, this guy. Snacks worth here. Oh, ho, ho. Would, you, uh, would you look at the cut of your jib? You must be the one everyone's talking about. You're the Paldean Exchange dude, Plungo. Or, or, or my name's not Snacksworth. Yes, indeed, call me Snacksworth. I do love to see young students putting some real effort into their self-improvement. Especially the kids who give their all for the old BBQs. I reward them with snacks. These snacks I make are very special treats made to taste just, uh, to the uh, taste of certain Pokemon. With one of my snacks in hand, you may find yourself running into quite a spectacular Pokemon. Come on, give snacks worth the latest whatever you've been hard at work on those BBQs. See, now you've been chipping away those BBQs or not, Plungo. Have the best you've got to complete in a group quest. Bring yourself one of my special snacks, Plungo. Spectrier. Oh my god! Snack favored by the legendary Pokemon Spectrier. You know, Spectrier, frightfully rare, that one. Not your run of the mill Pokemon. Speaking of Spectre, I do recall this one particular encounter I was uh, when I was a younger feller. I was off hiking among the Paldea peaks for a bit and a fun mountain climbing for a bit of a hobby. Taking my sweet time meandering up the mountain path dotted sparsely with trees. Came upon this old ruin of the path covered in vines and I thought, now doesn't that seem like a good place to take a rest? Uh, I would no sooner drawn uh, close for a look than this black shadow of a Pokemon appeared. Spectre had been sleeping inside. It popped its long face out and scared the spirit out of me. It just loves that snack you have there so you might have a shot of meeting it too. If you're on to old Spectre, do be sure to give him my best. Well, you've been chipping away. You've completed two group quests. Here's a snack for you. A Kyogre Treat. There's a Kyogre Treat. You know, Kyogre, friendly, friendly, rare. Not your run of the mill Pokemon. Speaking of Kyogre, recall this particular place of young feller. I was, uh... On another one of my adventures around Paldea, when I spotted these odd rocks at sea. Thought to myself, no snacks worth. Those have got to be famous rocks said to bring riches. So I figured I might as well squeeze my eyes shit real tight and make a wish on them. 
A few seconds later, I'm my eyes wish appear in front of those rocks, but Kyogre, big blue and brazen as you please. No, that was a shocking day, No, make no mistake. It just loves that snack you have there, so you might have a shot at meeting it too. If you're on to old Kyogre, be sure to give it my best. Snacks worth here. Three group quests. A Zekrom treat. There's a Zekrom treat. Not your run-of-the-mill Pokemon, no siree. When I was a young fellow, I set out from Mesagoza, and I think I would walk all the way to Artizone from there. I was making fine progress in the great black shadow streaks across the sky to the east. It's consumed with curiosity, that's for sure, so I climbed real high to try to catch a better look. And would you know it, there was Zekrom. I stared up at it like a country lad, uh, seeing his si uh, first city, and it came down and landed right near me. We watched one another for a time. I couldn't help but bask in the magnificence of Zekrom. It just loves that snack you have there, so you might have a shot at me to get to. If you're on to old Zekron, please give him my best. Oh, you've been chipping away. You've completed four group quests. The Terrakion Treat. That's uh, no run-of-the-mill Pokemon, I tell you what. Oh my goodness, a rock climbing of... Uh, breathtakingly high, just out of Cortano, simply standing there reminding of you when pl Tarakian plunked down right next to me. Well, uh, perhaps it was simply a loose end with the snacks together. You might have a shot at me to get two. Be sure to give Tarakian my best. Oh, what about you? Five group quests. How many of these do I get? Cobalion treat. One for each of the swords, that's for sure. One of the Pokemon to counter Paldea, Cobalion, Cliff, Slomix, uh, right before Stubby. Cobalion just strolled away. Uh, met in the bamboo. Let's see, Bichip Oh, you've done and completed six group quests. Here's a Lunala treat for you. Oh, there's a Lunala treat for you there. You know, Lunala frightfully terrif- frightfully- uh, A frightful Pokemon of the sandy beaches there at a crescent moon blue before my eyes. In instantly, I was enamored. You might have a shot at me to get to. Bichip it away at those. You completed ten solo quests. Here's a treat for you, my Solgaleo. This is a Solgaleo treat. Each legendary has a treat. Oh my goodness. I think I'm gonna do these off screen. <laughs> you might have a shot at meeting it too. Ah! There's so many. This guy must be the luckiest person on the planet meeting every sh uh, legendary by sheer luck. Are, can these be shiny? Uh, these legendaries you could find? Cause it might be a better way to, to, no they can't, okay. I was gonna say, it might be a better way to shiny hunt for them than in the, uh, than the other places there. Uh, you! But Plungo, that Pokemon, isn't that the Pokemon from the picture? That's a real life gouging fire, just look at the shape of its head! There are rumors that say this fellow can make magma rough from the ground just by roaring. If that were true, then this thing would be a real fearsome face, uh, threat to face. Let me snap a couple photos here. I'm blind, I'm blind. This can mean the other Pokemon I showed you is real too. Report back if you find it, okay? Just turn around, you ding dong! A real raging bolt! That neck is. Boy, that neck! Almost uh, too much to fit into one frame. Rumor has it this fellow can cover the whole sky with dark clouds and bring lightning crashes down uh, swinging its long neck. That would truly be fearsome to face. Let me just snap a couple uh, photos. Bah. Ha, bah, bah. He actually found them both! Can't even. I can't even be surprised. That's just like you, Plungo. Between you and me, I was having a hard time focusing on my own work. I couldn't keep my mind off those photos. You saved me. I know I didn't promise a reward or anything, but I've got to thank you for putting the mystery to rest. Here you go. Prize is a real catch. Sport ball. It's wild how much mystery is left in the world, isn't it? When you're a kid, you can just run wholehearted wherever you want, but it's not easy when you get older. You keep running, Plungo. Find unknown Pokemon and have grand adventures. Do it for me. And now I think I better get back to work. <laughs> Does she have anything else to say? No. Terrarium is really something else, yada yada yada, covered in ice, photographer's dream. Okay, now I'll trade! Why am I going to boxes? Hang on, let me figure it, let me f Just hold on a sec! 238? Wait, what else am I missing? Was there a starter I didn't evolve? There's 242, how am I missing?
37, 38, 39, 40. 41, 40. Oh, wait, do these not act these don't actually count toward the Pokedex? They're supplement. Yeah, just trade, touch, and go. That's what I'm looking for. Link trade. Same code, 5639. Begin the search. That's the only explanation I can think of is that those two don't count. All right, not iron leaves. There they are. Was that the Terrakion one? Oh, that was nuts! That just kind of reminds me of the Dawn fan a little bit. The iron treads. While it's trading, I'm gonna see if uh, if uh, I can let Manatee inside. I'll be right back. Iron Bolt? Wow, I wasn't that far off when I said Iron Rock, huh? Okay. Then we'll do, uh, Big Neck for, uh... Oh, you're giving me Gouging Fire, okay. God, it's such a wild-looking Pokémon. It looks a lot more Mammalian than the other two. Goodbye, Italian. I'm so tired. <laughs> I had to push it. All right. Iron Crown. Is there anything else? This is an all-night stream. My computer crashed. I was gonna stream Among Us with Jeremy later today, but I, I have to back out because I'm just so tired. Thank you, Scoot. Someone says something about Kitakami? One last story event of the Kitakami Crystal Pool. All right. I'll get the Pokedex Awards and I'll do the Kitakami thing and then that'll be the end of the stream. Pokedex complete. Oh my God, trade Iron Crown back. Tachyon Cutter. That's a name of a move. Time is now. I'll tear it all down. Tachyon Slash. Take Terrapagos to the Crystal Pool. Roger. That'll be the last thing I do. My trading partner has gone to bed. And I will be there someday. Okay. Okay. Pokedex. Black Lives Panda. Thank you for gifting a tier one sub to Harpy Player Joe. Master Ball! 
Exploring new places on your own two feet is a real treasure of an experience, isn't it? You know, I think you deserve a special diploma in recognition of your uh, magnificent achievement. Go see Director Serrano at the Blueberry Academy. We do have some time. And a Master Ball. Complete the Blueberry Pokedex. I thought, nope, you're not who I want to see. Hey there, Plungo. Hey there, Plungo. Looks like you caught 200 spe spe uh, species of Pokemon in the terrarium. Hold on, does this mean you feel the entire thing? Yes, yes, it does. I. Uh, you know that four of those were from Area Zero, right? Five of them, actually. Played the Blueberry Pokedex, congratulations! You should have all the data you need of the Pokemon living in the dome now, thanks to you! It's a really impressive, you know not a single Blueberry Academy student has managed it yet. He, uh, here, you deserve a special, something special to celebrate. Uh, celebrate, pretty sure this counts as special. The Mark Charm. Ooh, makes some marks are more likely to appear. Having one of these mysterious unique charms makes more likely to encounter a Pokemon with a mark. Why, hello, Director Serrano, and hello to you too, Miss Plungo. Your studies are going well, I hope? Welcome, Veli! You're not gonna believe what Plungo just accomplished. Upon my word! Seems you're making quite a splash here at Blueberry Academy, as you have elsewhere. <laughs> I knew you picked the right student for the program! Well, Director Serrano is giving himself a hearty pat on the back. Allow me to reward you with a small gift. Students who achieve great feats such as this deserve to be recognized for their hard work. This congratula congratulatory message penned by the company that certifies Pokedex completion is for you. We hereby certify your achievement of completing the Blueberry Pokedex. May this great feat be celebrated by all. Game Freak. I reconfigured a Pokedex app so you can view your diploma there anytime you like. You haven't changed, have you, Billy? You've always been good at this sort of thing. <laughs> no, no, this really is nothing. Also, Director, once again, I must insist that you address me properly in front of our student. I'm just glad your treasure hunt of my academy has been a, such a success, Plungo. I hope you keep spending some quality time with all the Pokemon in the terrarium. Uh, Director Serrano, I do appreciate your kind words and hate to interrupt. But I would like to confirm that you will no longer refer to me as Veli in front of... Director Serrano, are you even listening to me? <laughs> okay. Take Tarapa goes to the crystal pool. The highest point where any Terra crystals are. So we're taking the Pokemon uh, that's at the lowest point where any Terra crystals are. And then, I may sleep. Probably heal him first. There we go. Is this the legendary Pokemon ghost, ghost people? The spooky ghosts that are in Pokemon games? Did we already see that? Was that in an area? What the fuck? Well now, this is a curious development. Have I somehow broken through the boundaries of space and time? And who are you? Are you the AI? What's that you say? You thought I was some robot imbued with an AI personality? Hmm, now that's an idea. If I could create such a thing, it would be quite helpful. I am Professor Sada. I research Pokemon in Area Zero, and yet... What? This Pokemon? Is this the Winged King? We call it Koridon. Is that right? So its name is Koridon? Hmm, that's a good name. 
Again? From the clues you've already let slip, I suppose I would have to conclude. From your perspective, I must have come from the past. Of course, the complexities of space-time are beyond count. It's possible that our encounter might not even be occurring in a timeline connected to my own. Perhaps this meeting is nothing more than a fleeting miracle. Why don't we exchange as much useful data as we can, in what little time fate has gifted us? I can't open my menu. Is there anything you'd like to ask of me? What about your family? Oh. You even wish to know about my private life. I do have family. A son. He's probably at home right now. Well, no, I suppose right now would be inaccurate. Whenever and wherever he is, I imagine he must be quite lonely. Is there anything else you would wish to ask me? What are you studying now? I am researching methods to catch Pokemon that live in different timelines, so I might transport them to the present day in my own timeline. It sounds fantastical, no doubt, but I'm drafting plans for a machine that may achieve it. You see, this book captured my imagination when I read it as a child and has never let go. But progress has been slow and beset by failures. I haven't left my lab in quite some time now. I desperately hope that I might glean some new insight from this conversation, so I can finally make some progress and return home. Is there anything else you wish to ask me? Why are you here? I don't precisely know the cause. I was analyzing some recent data in my secret lab one moment, and the next I was standing here before you. Perhaps this is the influence on the crystal Pokemon that lies dormant in that place. Or perhaps the cause lies with you and I. Now let us trade, pl trade places in this exchange. I'd say the time has come for my own questions. What is this place? It doesn't appear to be anywhere in Paldea. This is the land of Kitakami. So we're in Kitakami's Crystal Pool, eh? I remember reading about it in certain texts. It is said to be a place where water wells up from the ground imbued with, ter with terrestrial energy. It would seem that I have been shifted quite far in both space and time. My next question, then. The Pokémon you have. The Wing King. Ah, I mean, Coridon. Tell me more about it. I found it collapsed on a... Uh, I found it collapsed on a beach. Did you really? Then I wonder whence it came and how it happened to arrive at that beach. Though it appears you don't know much about the creature's exact origins yourself. Ah, yeah? Hmm? That book you have there. I don't recognize its cover. What is it? The hidden treasure of Area Zero. Would you let me see that for just a moment? Descriptions of the Area Zero underdepths. And a record of Terrapagos' awakening! Who is this Briar to have written such a work? She's a descendant of Heath. How isn't that something? A descendant of the author of the original Scarlet Book. Exploration runs in the family, I see. At any rate, that is a book that is a book that would ignite the imagination of any true scientist. I'm sorry, but I simply must have the time to read this book more thoroughly. Oh. The mist is closing in once again. I assume that means our time is near its end. I wish I could spend longer getting to know the Winged King, but I must hurry. That book, I imagine it must be quite valuable. It wouldn't feel right for me to claim it without offering you any recompense. In exchange, then, though I hate to part with something so precious to me, would you consider trading me that book for my copy of the Scarlet Book? Yes. Is this a but thou must? You obtained the Scarlet Book. You put the Scarlet Book in your, uh, in your, uh, key items pocket. A record of an expedition to the Great Crater of Paldea given to you by Professor Sada. The book has the name 
Sada, written on it in clumsy handwriting. I appreciate this more than you can imagine. Perhaps I should take this chance to go home and enjoy a bit of downtime with a good book. This is the part where, uh, where we part, fellow adventurer and winged king. How lucky we were to meet across space and time. I bid you adieu. I'm gonna send down, down, down Giratina uh, to Hakaias, essentially. Now, my question is, does this change anything? The game is now saving. Sunset with a Scarlet Book. Her Scarlet Book is there. Now go back to the bottom of Area Zero and read the book on the, on, on the left. And I'm in Naranja Academy. God, it takes so long to get to the bottom of Area Zero. Oh, I can't take the flying taxi. Why is it? Why am I in my dorm room? Oh, I'm gonna get accosted by two people here. Oh, no, I'm not. Where are they? I thought I saw two people here that wanted to talk to me. Unless they're outside. Huh. I passed them? Is that them? No, that's not them. Wait, oh my god, she's... God, I didn't recognize her with her makeup on. Oh my god, she's gorgeous. Yo, Plungo. Not every day we get to see uh, her around the academy, huh? For sure. We're not in the same grade as Plungo either, so we're lucky. It's lucky we bumped into her. You doing all right, pal? Not sure what to make of that dumbfounded look you got going on there. I feel like I know you. Oh, that's right! I forgot what I'm wearing her usual outfits today. Man, now that you mention it, I guess this is the first time she's looking at us in all, uh, looking all proper in our academy uniforms, huh? Yeesh. Now I feel awkward about it. But hey, let's clear things up. It's me, Giacomo, or DJ Vice when you catch me at the deck. She is so cute! Harry here, but I'm sure that was obvious. We came in today to take some makeup tests. Figured it was about time we started clawing back at that learning we missed out on when we were holed up in our bases. Our team star outfits aren't all that practical for testing things, so we came in our new school uniforms today. Hey, Harry, do you think Plungo could help us uh, with our ongoing sitch? Oh my God, there's more. Hey, that's right, great idea, G Como. Can I help with something? We've got a little proposal for you. How would you like to be a Toda? Jeez, one step at a time. Maybe we should start by explaining what's going on. Whoops, right you are, Eri. So, uh, okay, basically, the other Team Star bosses are having a rough time of it. You remember Melly, Ordi, and Atticus, right? Yeah, those three, yep. They've been taking making up tests like us, but they sure ain't passing them. They actually might have to repeat the year, which would suck after all the effort they put in to come back to school. Before you ask, me and Ari have already tried tutoring them ourselves. And it didn't go well. At all. Nope. You know, I seriously didn't think those three would have such a hard time. I mean, for me, it feels like all you need to do with the past test is learn formulas and memorize stuff. Guess I just can't wrap my head around what it is they can't wrap their heads around. And I'm only good at teaching people if it's to do with sports or exercise. 
We heard from Penny that your grades are pretty decent. I mean, even Ortega and the others what Parker is if you drop by to teach him. Which loops us right back to my opening refrain. Think you could help tutor, tutor for us? Yeah, I'd be happy to help. Thank you so much, Plungo. You really are the best. <laughs> Miss Airy, I would be uh, most happy if uh, if uh, you were to repay me with maybe, maybe, uh, uh, listen. J like, we'll go out to dinner together. I'll pay, but that's all I need for payment. Whoops, almost forgot. We got to keep this under wraps, okay? No telling Penny. We've stressed her out enough for one lifetime. There's no way we could bother her with this. This will be our little secret, okay? We'll be right here, so come let us know when you're ready to start. Ready to start? What the fuck? Okay, one thing at a time. I gotta go down to the bottom of area zero real quick. I already created a bootstrap paradox. There's so much more I still have to do. Is it a paradox or are they all different timelines? Well, I mean, here's the thing. It has to be a bootstrap paradox because uh, the because the book is going to be down there. So much to do. So I'm taking tomorrow off. I don't care what anyone says. Careful, bud. You don't want to you don't want to disturb your face too much. Nope, I didn't- oh, you know what, whatever. Oh yeah! I can fly now! Oh, this is weird to control! I go to the under depths. You're welcome. Uh, thank you for the trades. You're welcome. It's a bunch of documents scattered around. Will you try reading one? A treasure and stellar terratype. Massive cavern exists beneath Area Zero, and there slumbers Teropagos, the hidden treasure of Area Zero. Its body has become crystal, protecting it from hostile outsiders. It appears that rousing it will take some time. In this cavern, I have witnessed the terrestrial phenomenon, and current a weight I've never seen above ground. Terrestrialization that appears to hold the power of every known type. I have dubbed this terror type stellar type for now. Could Teropagos' uh, influence be a play? I'm calling the area found below Area Zero the Area Zero Under Depths. From the composition of the rock, I would date this cave formation uh, to two million years ago. There are indications that many objects, or creatures perhaps, filled the space prior to the cavern's current formation. The depths bottom out approximately 3,300 feet below the beneath the surface. There are indications of numerous past cavens, likely resulting from tectonic activity and erosion caused by rainwater or groundwater, but appears that the ground has remained stable since the last major cave-in. While investigating the hidden treasure, I found myself suddenly transported to a great height near a lake that smelled of sulfur. Based on the temperature and humidity, I believe it to have been the eastern islands I've read about uh, before. And there, a child gave me a white volume. And that's the entire thing. Um, I'm kind of curious if the journal entry is there before you do that. 
actually, you know what? If that if that is there before um if that is there uh before you uh what am I trying to say? If it is there, come on, brain. You got this, brain. Where's the exit? Oh, here it is. Uh, if it's there before you even do that, then that's your hint to go up to that that area in Kitakami. You could fly out. Don't I have to exit through here first, and then I could fly out? Also, notice you can't go back to the time machine now that you have the Scarlet Book again. Oh yeah. I'm also kind of curious if I could show the Scarlet Book to Arvin. Because the Scarlet Book was lost with the time machine stuff, right? Okay. I guess I'm doing some tutoring. Is this part, is the tutoring part of the DLC too, or is that part of the base game? It is part of the deal. What the fuck? Oh, this is how I get the new the new outfits. I can show it to Arvin. Okay. We'll do the tutoring and I'll show the book to Arvin and then we're done. And then I'll go on a date with uh with Ari. Free to help us with some tutoring, Plungo? Yes. Fantastic. Come on then, we'll show you to the classroom. <laughs> Sup, gang? Studying hard, I hope? Well, we were before you and your big mouth showed up. Here to check we're not slacking off, are you? Pretty much, your eyes are starting to glaze over the second I'm at the door. Tell me I'm wrong. Ah, uh, Lady Eric Gladner uni Academy uniform. I feel mine eyes sharpen and my mind focus each time this vision returns to greet me. Back off! Only that focus were helpful for your studies, Atticus. Sorry I keep distracting you. Oh, what's this? My ninja senses detect the presence of another behind thee, Lady Eric. Come, step forward, knave, that we might see thy face. It's me, Plungo! Are we missing somebody? You! What the? No, 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 no. Why is this happening? Ah, I should have surmised as, as much. The strength of thy spirit precedes thee as ever, good lady. Never mind that. Giacomo, explain. What's Plungo doing here? How n hey, now. Be nice, Plungo. Wait, no. Professor Plungo is going to be a tutor. Oh, glad tidings. I'm truly grateful to hear it. She's gonna be what? Since when? Bingo! You can't just go stomping around deciding stuff like this without asking anyone, Giacomo? Stream game DNA with a form of tier one saying, ooh, this is nice, lol. Where's Fire Girl? And you, we don't need a tutor. Do us a favor and toddle on home, would you? Hey, Ordy. Plungo kindly agreed to come here and help you and help us out. So talking to her with that kind of attitude is unacceptable, right? G yeah, no, totally. I, sorry, Ari. Sorry, who? Um, what I meant to say was sorry, Plungo. Ah, uh, Lady Ari in a menacing mood. What a vision of unusual rarity. Love her. Love Ari. Hey, don't worry about Ortega. He just doesn't want to see want you to see him floundering. Hey guys, we seem to have lost Melly. Where'd she go? Lady Mella declared her wish to stretch her legs moments before you arrived. She departed rather suddenly and has not returned since. Well, we all know Mella. She just wandered off it because she doesn't feel like studying. I hate to say it, but I guess it's probably true. Sorry about this, Plungo, but do you think you could go find Mella for us? She'll be somewhere in the academy for sure. We'll be here on standby and get everything prepped for our killer study sesh. Sorry to keep relying on you like this. I hope you f I hope uh, you find Melly without much trouble. 
DK Demi saying, uh, Jolt, uh, have a nice stream, Tom. Thank you. I I'm assuming it's either, yeah, it might be dyed or a wig. Melly's in the schoolyard. Ba -ba -da -ba. Ba -ba -da -ba. I'm gonna have to fight her, aren't I? That's how it always goes. She looks a lot shorter. Oh, what the frick is with her hair? She got it cut in like a bob. Or maybe it was always like that. Huh? Oh, hey, Plungo. Mela, is that you? Seriously, you have eyes, don't you? Obviously, it's Mela you're talking to. All right, I guess I'm not decked out of my usual gear today. Eri made a big fuss about wearing our uniforms for the study group thing. So yeah, not like I had much choice. But what are you doing here anyway? I'm looking for you. Wow, what's the occasion? You should for another showdown or something? Oh, okay, you came up here to bring me back to the classroom, huh? Guess time got away from me while I was admiring these veggies. Might as well get going then. She has spicy pepper. Mm -hmm. She still walks like she's wearing the big boots. Sup, amigos? Melly, welcome back. And Plungo, thanks so much for finding her. So, where were you lazing around this time? Eh, you know, here and there. <laughs> Lady Mello, is something amiss? Nah, we're all good, right? The stream study team's all here, that's what counts. So time's a-wasting, so I say let's hit the books. Take it away, Professor Plungo, these three are counting on you. How am I supposed to know this? I don't get it. Don't think I didn't see you in your smug face hovering there. You've got some nerve. You realize I'm a second year student, right? I'm an entire year above you. <laughs> Harry says we need to let you help, so fine. You try to tutor me or whatever. But I'll be shocked if you can get this literature stuff to sink in. I mean, how am I supposed to know some made up characters in a story are feeling? See, the protagonist in this book is the mom in a mousehold family. Her name is Mama Mousehold. Supposed to analyze why she calls Papa Mousehold terrible in this passage. Mama Mousehold's eyes glittered with tears. It's clear that from the letter Papa Mousehold had left, she would never let, uh, she would never get to see him again. Toying with my feelings right to the end, you really are a terrible thing. Uh, she must actually love him a lot. Huh? She calls him terrible, but she actually loves him? Why doesn't she just say that then? There's no way that's the right answer. You sure about that, my man? I'd have thought you of all people would relate. What's that supposed to mean? This DLC is more than just Team Stars expanding. This is actually a very small part of the DLC. Only that you do exactly the same thing with Plungo. You're always snapping at her and being difficult, but you actually respect her a ton, don't you? What? You must be joking! There's no universe in which I respect this oaf even a little. Nuh-uh, no way, nope. Okay, fine. Guess people are tempted to say the opposite of what they mean sometimes. <laughs> this question makes more sense to me now, but just a tiny bit. Thanks for not being entirely useless. What I know is that I know not. I have fathomed the depths of mine own ignorance. Ah, noble sensei, comest thou to proffer me a helping hand? My deepest thanks. Mathematics is, a, is the scourge of my existence, in particular arithmetic. It is an unsolvable mystery. But since my true calling lies in garment design, I feel I not need to concern myself with the numbers. They have not to do with fashion, after all. No, you'll need numbers. Hmm, skill in mathematics will still be of service to me, you say. I do not quite follow. 
think I know what Plungo is getting at. It's like with our Team Star outfits, remember? We end up spending a lot of money on them. As indeed we should. One must not shy away from expense when creating objects of great quality. But we had reams of fabric left over after the outfits were made. Don't you think we could have saved more money there? I, I cannot deny it. Tis a fair point. Now that I think of it, the garment's dimensions and cost of materials demand calculation. And if Silling's one's creations, profit margins too come into play. Designer who pays heed to such figures and sums would surely prove a superior artisan. It would seem my thinking was naive. I had turned mine eyes from the inconvenient truth. That decides it. My heart has changed and my mind made up. From now on, I will devote myself to the study of mathematics. Hiya! Sorry I kind of butted in your tutoring just now, Plungo. Glad it all worked out, though. Thanks to you, Atticus seems really inspired to study. He's the type who gets totally absorbed once he's fired up, so I'm sure he'll be just fine. Man, this is hard. Huh? What are you looking at, Plungo? Oh yeah, you're a tutor, aren't you? Alright then, I was just doing some practice questions. Here, let me know if you think this one's true or false. You can get new Pokémon only by catching them yourself or trading with other trainers. That's false! You get your starter Pokémon from, uh, from somebody else. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Can't go forget about uh, Pokemon you hatch from eggs. Okay, next one. What is the name of the gemstone that glows over a Pokemon's head when it terrestrializes? The Terra Jewel. Yeah, it sounds about right. Guess it makes sense that uh, uh, you know about all this, seeing as you have your own Terra Orb. Either way, terrestrializing is pretty awesome, don't you think? Only she looks so different with her hair like that. Good lord. I, I think she's also not wearing um, the makeup she had on either. Only outstanding student uh, get to have a terror orb for themselves, though. Okay, next one. This has zilch to do with tests, but I want to ask you something. I don't know how to put it through. Uh, put it though, it's a tricky one. Got to promise not to laugh, okay? So, uh, how important do you think dreams are? Like our future goals? Exactly! I'm talking about the future! What we want to be when we're older, that kind of stuff! I've got no idea about all that right now. Meanwhile, almost the Team Star seems like they've got it figured out. They've got proper dreams. Even the veggies in the schoolyard are doing their best to grow, you know? I kind of wish I had their direction. What'll happen if I never figure it out? What if I never find a dream to chase? Honestly, I get scared just thinking about it. You have your art, don't you? Huh? How'd you know I joined the art club? Well, whatever. It's just a hobby anyway. Not like I'm gonna do art to earn a living. Wait, now that I think about it, Mr. Dragon Browse does art for his job. And he looks like he's having a great time at school. It's like he's not working at all. If I could do something like that, if I could paint for a living, that'd be crazy fun. Do you think I could be, uh, do you think that could be it? Is it really okay to call that my dream? I like to think that her hair is naturally blonde. She just dyed it uh, red and hasn't dyed it in forever. For sure. You're right. That's gotta be it. That's my dream. Man, I feel like a whole new person. Thanks, Plungo. You continue to turn to Team Star for a while. All right, gang. I'd say it's about time we cue the outro and wrap up today's study sesh. Yes, great effort all around. Does everyone feel like they made progress today? Totally, I sped through my practice questions like a champ. Guess Plunga wasn't the world's worst tutor. Well, I learned that even arithmetic can be enthralling when in, uh, engaged with in, with in earnest. Thanks to our esteemed tutor, I feel enlivened as a rev of room drenched in poison. I feel like someone's used a fog on me, man. I've seen everything so clearly, the knowledge is just pouring itself into my brain. Oh, that's brilliant, everyone. Well done. It sounds like this is our best session yet. Must have been thanks to your expert tutoring. Plungo is really kind of you to help us out. We prepared a little thank you gift from all of us, so here you go. Gold bottle cap. Modified uniform A, B, Team Star sunglasses, Team Star gloves, Team Star heels, Team Star helmet, Team Star case. Let's do the Team Star post together too. Here, I'll teach you how to do it. The Hasta La V Star emote from Aerie. 
What? Guys, what are you all doing here? Penny! Yeesh, busted. Um, I was just walking down the hall and saw you all in here. But that's fine. No one asked me to join, so I should just leave, shouldn't I? S sorry about that. See you later. Lady Penny, wait! It's not what you think, Penny. Hear us out! So what happened was... Blah 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 You... I thought you'd all decided not to talk to me anymore. We would never! That's must... That's what it must have looked like though, huh? Sorry we made you worry. We just didn't want to drag you in another one of our messes. Our bad, Penny. Go, go, gadget explanation. Well, apology not accepted. Wait, for real? Why do you guys always get to decide that I just be weighed down by your problems? I... I'm your friend, right? So you should come bother me more. Lean on me. That's what actually make me happy. Oh, Lady Penny. And, and if things get really bad, I could just hack into the school system and fix your grades anyway. What? That's a terrible idea! Yeah, isn't that taking it a bit far? Uh, sorry, that was a joke. I guess I was trying to lighten things up here, but I guess it was pretty out of character. Glad to hear it. If you were serious, I would have had to pummel some sense into you. B but about before, I'm actually a pretty good tutor, you know? So feel free to ask me for, uh, for help with studying and stuff anytime. Lady Penny, we are honored by thy generosity. Ugh. Does that mean we gotta get lectured by Plungo and Penny now? Well, <laughs> I guess there are worse things. <laughs> Careful, my man. That was dangerously close to a straight-up compliment. You can just come right out and say you like the idea. We all know what you're thinking. Indeed. I need not even use my ninja senses. So childishly apparent are thy true feelings. What? As if you know what's in my head? You guys haven't got the first clue about me. Try getting to know me better before spouting nonsense, huh? You're all the worst! <sighs> hey, guys, I, I think we broke Ortega. <laughs> they look so bizarre in their school uniforms. Okay. Okay. Arvin's room. Hey, I've got something for you, bud. Oh, at the Scarlet Book. Did you borrow the copy in the entrance hall? Of course you did. That book holds a lot of memory for memories for us, little buddy. No, take... he... Really? Nothing? Oh, Arvin. Oh. That is just it, but like, man. There should be more. Has her name on it? He only, he must have only read the cover. He literally judged the book by its cover. Oh, Nurse Miriam, I got a sickness and you're the only cure, baby. Anyway, that's gonna be it. Finally done. Not like it was a slug, but man, I just kept going and going and going at the end there. We're not gonna raid anybody because I got like, I got no steam left in me. Do we have any fan art? Probably do. No, we don't, no fan art. All right, well, that's gonna be it. It is, it is five, yeah, five in the morning for me. I gotta get to bed. So thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you all next time. Uh, probably on Sunday, so I can spend the next two days resting my voice. But I'll see you next time. Later.